the U.S. Colonial Marines. We get the job done. We'll never leave a man behind. We've got the best equipment. The best people. And we'll go to the furthest edges of the galaxy to show up and get shit done. It's not just the ships or the places you'll go or the enemies you'll defeat. It's the company you keep. The USCMC. We're there to... Hey everybody, what's up? Okay, hey what's Hello. going on? Welcome, it's time for more of the Frontier War. It's friends here, it's slices and dices and technical issues aside, which always seem to fucking happen right before stream. Uh, a warning for you streamers out there, rivulets of, of sweat will just come like streaming, no pun intended, down your brow um, when shit goes wrong and you just gotta deal. You gotta take, you, you know, pick up your, your big boy, big girl, big whatever pants and just pull them up and be like, breathe, everything's gonna be cool, everything's gonna be fine, we're gonna have fucking fun and you just go. That's it, period, end of story. And that's Mercury's what we're doing. Mercury's about to retrograde in a week. I bet that's it, just blame Mercury. Is that what happens? Like is like EMPs are on the rise? Mercury, Mercury retrograde theoretically fucks your electronics. So. I actually retrograded Mercury in this little display room that I'm in. <laughs> and set the whole thing off. You did it. It's your fault. God damn it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, we've got people in different places. We've got people in you know different uh, situations. They can they can stream where they can stream where they want to. They can leave their friends behind. And if they can't stream, and if they don't want to stream, then they're no friends of mine. So hey, here we are. We're gonna go ahead and start up the frontier war. Thank you guys for joining us here live on Twitch. And if you're watching this uh, video not live, say perhaps in, on YouTube, um, give us a like, give us a subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you know exactly when our shit comes out. And so you can be uh, the person who writes first in the comments. Do they do that shit anymore? Do people still write first in YouTube comments? No, that's like 2004. I don't read YouTube contents because I value smart, the sanity. Smart, smart. Don't read the, never read the comments. Never yeah, ever read the comments. Read the comments. Okay. Like the comments. Do you like the comments? Do you have like I mean, some kind of special fun. filter that like re removes all the shitty Just comments? All the ones you don't oh no, I, I usually laugh for the shitty comments. Oh, you laugh at the shitty comments? Yeah. Most of them, yeah. I read them and then I cry. Ever since once many moons ago, I was really excited about a video that <laughs> we put that put on Facebook and I was like, or on YouTube, I was like, I wonder if any, like if we have any views yet. And I went and looked, and the very first comment was something like abhorrently insulted and sexual about me. I was like, yeah, you know what? Never, never doing it again. Nope, done. Thank you. And now look at you. Look at and this. now look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. To I you. did this to you. I you did. did this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did it. I'll admit it. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Let's go. It's time to figure out what the hell is going on as we recap previously on the Frontier War. Here we go. 
Um, in the immortal words of Bishop, I may be synthetic, but I'm not stupid. Let's have that as a sort of uh, a, 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 a overarching theme uh, for, for tonight's session. Okay, Marines and Winters, listen up. You all landed on the planet Arcturus to help stop a terrorist group known as the Children of the Two Divines, led by a guy named Giannis Ruedi, or uh, should I say Grand Seer, as he is so-called, Giannis Ruedi. Now, Ruedi and his people um, have taken a bunch of, uh, of human colonists, as well as Arcturians hostage, as well as uh, killing, to be honest, quite, quite a lot of them. Um, and... Let me mention that the Arcturians, by the way, are the native species of humanoids on this planet. Now, Arcturians have a special relationship with uh, the th their their overall surroundings, as well as their artistic abilities to create uh, artifacts, um, beautiful artifacts that they have stored within the compound that they are being held hostage in. Um, they believe that they were visited long ago by an alien race known as the Star Teachers, who supposedly helped their race evolve and to draw these huge pictograms on the planet's surface. Now, back to these uh, terrorists, the Children of the Two Divines, they've been using CN-20 nerve gas. Uh, as a deterrent, uh, not to mention a potential nuclear bomb that they supposedly have. Um, now, you were sent to rescue as many hostages as possible, taking into special consideration as well a uh, uh, an important uh, Geholgod Institute scientist who has been taken, and her name is Tehal Aluwalia. Now, as per your orders, you were to take Grand Seer Giannis Ruedi alive for interrogation. Uh, when you arrived, you found that according to the writings of Ruedi, these terrorists, these children of the two divines, are worshiping the alien creatures uh, that supposedly are somehow linked to the Arcturians, these, these star teachers. They were worshiping, the, worshiping them as gods. Um, you know them as the engineers so-called because they seem to have some ability or some uh, um, technology that seems to have been able to um, create life throughout the galaxy. And of course, they're destroying angels, the black carapist space beasts with concentrated acid for blood that you guys have sort of run into from time to time. Now, after fighting through an enclave of these terrorists, you freed a large group of hostages and sent them to the nearby uh, hover vehicle where they could uh, flee to a safe location and possibly return once the assets, uh, as you perhaps might be told they're called, uh, were recovered and the site cleared of hostiles. In doing so, you found a secret underground passageway leading to a set of tunnels and then opening up into a massive vaulted chamber. The stone itself was like laced almost with structural fibers, creating weird biomechanical patterns, like a weave of resin was somehow integrated with the rock itself. And amongst them, a, a, a number of nine meter tall heads fashioned with sort of deep, uh, chiseled, grim expressions serving as pillars in this room and, looping around it, a curved corridor lined with some kind of, uh, like, large animal ribs coated with a thick layer of some kind of organic polymer, almost like a, a, a pitch black uh, skin dripping with condensation. And all around you, the faint hum of some kind of almost engine seeming to echo through these corridors. Taking into account all this crap, Colhavy decided to scout ahead and found a rubbery, phosphorous, fleshy, egg-shaped protrusion next to some kind of door-like orifice. 
Uh, taking a deep breath, he pressed it and stepped inside and found a massive room with a giant mechanical uh, model, which lit up with blue-white holographic uh, lights displaying a map around the entire room. This map actually seemed to be a representation of a star and all the planets around and orbiting it. Now, more importantly, however, he was not alone in this room. Uh, inside, he found a woman, unknown perhaps at this point, as well as a child of the two divines holding a gun to her and using her as a human shield at his entrance. And as he assessed the situation and the lights flowed through the room, the strange sound of a flute seemed to echo from a strange and perhaps unknown place within the room, creating a rather tense silence at its cessation. And that is where we begin tonight. Okay. Now, is everybody ready to go? Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's get at her. Let's get it. All right. So I'm going to flip you guys to the map where you guys can see, or at least I should say Colhavi can see, what's going on inside the Temple of the Engineers. All right. Let me just zoom on over. It's a big map, so it may take some time for those of you who are just sort of like loading in uh, into Roll20 uh, for the first time. But if, if you're already in, then let's go. All right. So, uh, this guy is, so he just screamed at your approach, Kulhavi, uh, and the woman said something under her breath uh, as this chamber filled with lights and, and pinpricks that could p potentially represent stars or, or, or other kind of uh, matter within the galaxy, and a, a complete uh, solar system has now just been displayed within the room. And again, this, this strange haunting flute sound. Uh... At that point in time, um, this woman drops something on the floor and it clatters to the ground. And in wonder, this, this child of the two divines, dressed very similar to the other terrorists, just like he has the gun and he had it to her and he just sort of like, in, in, in absolute shock, he just lets his arm go down. What do you do, Kulhavi? I will give you 10 seconds to decide. Is there, can I tell if there's a panel on the door behind me as well? Can there I, is. I, I'm going to try and touch the panel on the door behind me uh, with, with, with one hand while keeping the scope rifle trained. Okay. I'm going to say, you're going to want to step away. Okay, you do so, the door... <laughs> Uh, slides shut with a sort of triple uh, sort of movement to it that sort of almost looks like a, some kind of a strange, almost sphincter-like orifice. It, it spirals in toward itself. And you say that to the guy, and he sort of shakes himself out of his strange reverie, and then he's like, no, 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 no. And she, this woman, uh, pushes herself away from him, and you have the ability to make a sneak attack if you want to do. I would love to do that. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, what's the bonus on sneak attack again? Uh, bonus, uh, bonus on a sneak attack for shots is just that you get the first, you get the uh, whole turn essentially oh, okay. to yourself. Yeah. Then yeah, aim and fire. Uh, the modifier. Yep. Aim and fire. Go for it. Oh, Fuck my, my life. <laughs> close. A close shot uh, with the scope rifle. <laughs> <laughs> Scepter, wow. why? Scepter, why couldn't you them. you get shots like this when you had used this, this scope I rifle? I did in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Wow, uh, that's a I high powered that. high powered armor piercing bullet uh, at close range. Technically, it should you should have had a penalty because you were at close range. But seeing okay. how many shot successes you got here, that's five successes. Uh, wow, in the words of Christopher Walken, um, and. He, let me check if he has any armor. Can he mitigate that? Fuck. It's armor piercing. It is armor piercing, but it doesn't mean his armor, like, preventing. Uh, gone, I mean. Uh, let's see. He has two armor, so he will make a single armor roll. Minus one to his armor. And he gets no successes, doing a maximum of six damage, if you want to do all damage. 
Um, can I make it five damage and he drops an item? Sure, absolutely. I would like that very much. Boom! You shoot him right through the gut. He flies back onto the ground uh, and drops whatever item uh, you have chosen to do so. Um, I was going to say, I was so busy seeing him holding her, I didn't think about what he was actually carrying. He had a, um, He was holding a gun to he her. He definitely had a gun yeah. to her. If yeah. nothing else, the gun. But is there, was there like a data pad? He did not have a data pad, no. He had a gun. the gun. Okay, Let's boom. The gun into... Probably has a mind too. Um, yeah, I am going to... I'm going to nod to the woman and say, grab that gun. Boom. You f you blast him right through the gut. He flies to the ground. Uh, blood just fountaining out from his from his midsection. He's choking. He's like... Oh, oh. He's clearly broken. Um, I'm going to roll a broken roll for him just to see what happens. Often, I don't roll broken rolls for uh, minions slash mooks, but hey, in this case, I want to do it. Let's see, here we go. 34. All right, <laughs> oops. <laughs> Let's see what 34 is. Definitely oh. over half. Gouge die. Oh shit, you shot him right through the eye. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he just gouge, so maybe he like the smacked himself in the eye with his gun before he dropped it. Yeah, boom! You shoot him through the gut. He's like, ah, oh, boom! He hits himself right in the eye with I don't know, like the tip of the. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't Why know. Did the doctor I don't install know. that angled metal plate in my body. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm going to retroactively remove that because that doesn't make any sense. And I want to continue on with the story. You just blow the guy away. He's dead. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. if, it made, if it made more sense, I would have allowed it. Not so much this time. Typically fine. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, yeah. And um, she grabs his gun. And she's like, oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was so worried. Oh, are there more of you? Yeah, we got a few out there just uh Stick with me, we're gonna... What the hell is this place? You know what this is? I, uh, I do not know. Uh, and she, uh... Oh, look at that, already. A, a, a redemption. Random piece of gear to you, Uh Go ahead and roll your d10. Would yeah. we have... Would we have had that gunshot? I was about to ask... With the question. door closed, you would not. Okay. Oh, I thought I opened the door. I thought the door... No, the closed. door opened, and you pushed it, and zzz, I said it closed. So we closed. All right. I, and then you I shut him. I was the impression that it closed behind me last session. Can I, can I not have closed the door then? Yeah, but you, 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 I, I, you, I thought you. I had said open because I, I thought it had closed behind me. I thought the whole thing started with, I'm in a locked room with other guns. Ah, then you know what? I'll, I, I'm a nice person, and I will say that you did not hit the button. And bang, you heard the shot, guys. How about that? I'm going to... Speak into the, the group comms and uh, say, you might want to move in the direction of the northmost. And then I'm going to stay there and see if my marine camera can record all of this giant planetary sort of display that's going on. Absolutely, yeah. You certainly Party can. Party poppers, let's go in. As jogging down the hall, Mash is like, yeah, moving towards the gunfire. That does seem to be what we do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... I'm going to open the door since you actually told so, me. Yeah. Can I observe and walk a little bit further in and just the door see was. if there's anything else in the room? Guys, any other passages? Any uh, we directions? Went too far it was close. <laughs> Sorry, Patrick, okay. would, you, would you mind repeating, please? Uh, just spot check. Observation check. Sure. Absolutely. Just to see if there's anything else in the room now that I've got 30 seconds of control. Yeah. Let me actually just rejoin as a player. Give me one second to... Masters is quickly going to try and clear the room and just that make sure... That is a successful observation there. and a five on the redemption D10. Awesome. Okay, a five. I'll check that in a second. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, I thought yeah, there was another guy in this room. That's much less scary than I remember it. This place is pretty. It's pretty. That's the wrong way. Okay. Ain't like um... no room I've ever seen before. You guys know what to make of this, other than it's obviously planets, and that's about as far as I can get. First, Master just wants to uh, clear the room really quickly and make sure there aren't any other imminent threats. Yeah, make an observation check. Matt, I'm no, not in the room. Does our uh, do we want to move you in the room? Yes, we can't at all. Sure. 
Uh, yeah, let me, first of all, let me just move. There you go. Ah, that's where it is. Sure. I've missed it. That's okay, it happens. All right, so uh, you, with your success in your observation... That was Cole Havies. I got nothing. Yeah, yeah, Cole Havies. I'm <laughs> working from okay. top down here. <laughs> cool, just checking. Cole Havy, you look around the room. Um, there are sort of strange uh, uh, characters all around the... Um, the, the, the massive orbs that seem to represent planets uh, or, or stars in this particular uh, configuration, um, these are unknown to you in any shape or form. Um, you do not recognize this star system at all. From its uh, then I'm going to keep walking into the room and turning around so that I can look at the rest of my team so that eventually when they pin all of our marine helmets together, they can do that 3D recreation and sort of yeah. piece it based on space. Absolutely. Um, that for the higher brass. Fair. Uh, the woman picks up the uh, data pad that she's dropped on the floor and she sort of says, oh, I, I, I'm so glad this is not broken. Oh, there are so many of you. I am so glad that Deep Void would have... Uh, uh, brought so many. Uh, I, I am so glad that, that you are here to rescue me. The, this man, this Ruedi, he's, he's a madman. As soon as oh, she it. says deep void, I look at Colhavy and wink, because he now owes me 20 bucks. Thank you. Yeah. Does she look hurt, Matt? Uh, I'm gonna Does she look hurt? No. I'm going to shoot Master to look and say, should we tell her no? I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to subtly shake my head. I'm like, oh no, we're playing along. Uh, Cole Havy's gonna step forward with the, the commanding authority that allowed him to earn her trust because he just shot her captor and say, uh, ma'am, can you, can you update us on the situation as you see it here? What's your status report? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Um, here, let me, uh, let me just bring up my, my, uh, information. Uh, and she sort of taps her data pad a little bit. And, uh, she says, may I, uh, first of all, get your names? Point to my name badge very clearly on my marine armor. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, yes. Uh, cool heavy. Cool heavy. Um, masters. She types in masters. I give her a little half salute. Winters. Uh, Isaac. Summers. Uh, this one does not have. I am sorry. Uh, you do not have a uh, badge. Are you marine? Points at Winters. I, now I'm confused because you read my name. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. That was that was me. My bad. <laughs> I was gonna say. I'm like. Sorry, that was that me was okay. reading your name backwards instead of forwards. Uh, your name. Ah, uh, Winters. Winters. Okay. Yes. Um, I am uh, Doctor Tehal Alawalia, and um. Uh, the situation is this. Um, the information is uh, stored safely on my uh, datapad so that when uh, uh, the uh, situation clears, I will be able to uh, deliver it uh, to uh, management at Deep Void. Do what now? And uh, what is, the, I just talk right over Winters. I was like, and uh, what is the situation with uh, the Grand Sea Yanis Ruedi? We were instructed to uh, capture him alive, if possible. She sort of gives you a quizzical look and she says, alive? I hope that in him. Um, Apparently they want to ask him some questions. I don't know. I'm just a grunt, ma'am. I understand. Um... Yes, the, um, the, the, the Ruedi and uh, his cohort, uh, she calls herself Mishka, uh, they are somewhere here within the temple. I do not know. Uh, they brought me here in order to f have me assess this orrery, uh, which seems to be some form of planetoid uh, configuration. Any idea what planets these are? I do not know. This is clearly some uh, system. Perhaps it is their home. Oh, okay. I guess that could make sense. <clears throat> well, uh, see, so you know that they're in the temple, but you don't know where. What did they want with you? 
as I said, the, uh, uh, the, uh, they call them the Firstborn. Uh, they are the lieutenants of Ruedi. They have asked... Ruedi ordered them to bring me here, uh, away from the others, and uh, perform my analysis on this system as to be uh, a part of what he believes is uh, the engineer's great plan. Any idea what their great plan could be? To, uh, to Ruedi, I mean. Uh, I just want to know what we're walking into. Oh. Yes, of, of course. Uh, as you can see, and she points to the runes on the, uh, on, on the planetoid, as well as the star, and she says, these runes seem to be some kind of, uh, uh language that the engineers utilized, um, but they are also, um, based on my analysis, uh, they are hieroglyphics which can be converted to musical notes. To music. Yes, m music. So it's like uh, alien cheek music? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I have uh, reconstructed the composition of this music. Would you, uh, would you like to hear it? Why the hell not? I inadvertently played it when uh, your uh, commander, and she points at Kalhavi, uh, entered the room to save me. But, uh, yes, uh, here we are. Um, and she presses play, and uh, it plays a, a short excerpt that sounds like this. And as it, as it, the sound comes out of her PDAT, the, um, the temple, uh, uh, orrery, in this room, sort of begins to shift in the opposite direction. She's like, oh, well, I did not know he could do that. It's sort of like big, all the gyros start to spin in the opposite direction uh, to new positions. That actually causes them to align, in a way. Then you I take just a say 20 you... out of my pouch and I slip it to Masters. <laughs> all right, you win. Didn't you just say you just played that, though? That's never happened. I'm sorry? You, you you just said you, you played the music, right? When yes. Michael Havey saved you? Yes, but I did not know that it would do that. <laughs> it seems to have an effect on the orrery in the room. Well, you know, music does like to make people dance. She looks at you like someone who has had very little experience with dancing. Very poetic, Summer. This is very odd, but like Masters wants to try, like, singing those same notes to see if she can make something else happen. Okay. Uh, hey, let's try it. Why not? Um, I would say make a... Yeah, I don't know. What uh, do singing roll. <laughs> let's <laughs> l uh, make a... Yeah, this, is, this system is not meant for singing. How dare you, sir? Um, <laughs> make a... Make a manipulation roll. That's the best okay. I can say. Marks for me. <laughs> okay, that's two successes. <laughs> that's hilarious. Uh, does more than asked for. Oh, shit. If anything happens. Uh, okay, and I also have to give Kohavi his five on the on the table, so I'll, I'll do that in a second. Um, I'm going to say Kohavi that probably like in searching the body uh, of this firstborn soldier, uh, you find you find this uh, this item. But let me tell what what Masters does. Or what this what this orrery does when Masters actually uh, performs her impromptu uh, concert? Um, yeah, it, it it sort of it shifts again. Instead of being aligned, now it has like the planets are all in a strange sort of splayed out pattern. She says, "I see you are a you are a songstress." Eh, hey, you know everybody needs a hobby. Why don't we ask you on Ariok has got talent? I just get, I'd turn on, I'd turn on Summers, just give her a look. I'm just like, absolutely fucking not. Especially considering Ar Ariarchus is pretty much bombed out of existence. Yeah. Ooh. She's an instant winner. There is no other talent. That's true. There um, is no talent. Did she play this into a flute or did she play this off the data She pad? played it off the data pad. Thank you. All right, let me look at your, what do you get off this body here? You got a five, right? 
I hate it. And then I got a weird idea. No worries. Oh boy, weird ideas are are so are, are the best. Um, you find um, besides of course the uh, bomb that is strapped to his chest, which has not been activated. Um, Yoink. you find a um, a set of binoculars. Okay. Strangely enough. Binoculars um, are half weight, and they give you a plus two to observation if used in looking at something long distance. Perfect. Now, can you hold his scope up to the binoculars? <laughs> as, as, I feel like you might need a spotter for that. I hereby request to turn a binocular into a periscope. Into a, a scope? A scope? scope, yeah. My glass. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, <laughs> Can I, using a com tech check, try and manipulate the notes in different patterns within musical scale? I mean, what do you want them to do? The I notes... want to try different combinations of the same notes, which is a little outside of Kohavi's expertise, but mm -hmm. is within com tech manipulation because it's on the data pad. If there's some sort of garage band on the data pad, it's not garage band. It's not. <laughs> She's like, "What are you doing? This is no stop." <laughs> You're gonna delete the file. Uh, no, in fact, if as soon as you start to like go near the data pad, she sort of like sh she she pulls it closer to herself, and she's like, "No, no, no. <laughs> I think you misunderstand. This is this is mine. This is my research. Please." All right. Can you? I'm gonna I'm gonna search through my stuff. Do I have the similar recording capabilities that she probably used for this on my Comtech? Just Marine gear. I yeah. I mean, you can record anything sound wise that you want. Uh, well, we have a new mag tape recorder. Don't that's we? true. You do. You it. have a tape that's recorder. The other thing I was thinking about was we could we could definitely play it over again on the mag tape, but if the if the pads that we come with the um the data pads the P dats if the P dats can adjust or loop or like reverse and forward any of it, we could potentially start playing with the scales and change the musical note combinations, which could change the communications with the orrery. And I'm wondering if Culhavy understands the principle of that based on music theory and just like pressing buttons. But it's also like pressing giant red buttons and it could be a terrible idea. That's the best idea. So I'm saying this to my players, about. not Culhavy being this smart. <laughs> <laughs> so basically Culhavy wants to just like mash the keys on the piano and see if anything cool happens. Yeah. Okay. Culhavy's going to single finger plunk and try and see. So you record the sound. Yeah. I'm just going to record it and set it aside for now. We have the recording. Got it. Okay. Um, recorded flute music. Yeah, no problem. There, that's the important thing. Okay. Could become a handy lady. Um, I'm also going to say that with your uh, with your first observation roll, right, the one that was that happened all the way back, um, that you did notice because it's pretty obvious that there is a doorway over here. As I throw the mag tape back to Masters then, while well, saying could be useful for later, I'm going to walk over and I'm going to sort of check and see if I can scout the door the same way. Sure. There's also a hallway that you guys that haven't gone. Pathway, yeah, there's yeah. a hallway and, and a doorway here with that same sort of strange egg-like protrusion. I'm going to go, this is what happened last time, and I'm going to press my hand onto the door and see if the door opens with the same ease. Yep. I mean, you press your hand against the, the it sort of squidges in and the door sort of peels apart, showing a hallway. Uh, I would like to make an observation down the hallway. Sure. Absolutely. And can I use my new binoculars? Sure, man. Absolutely. Right. Hey guys, look! Oh uh, God! <laughs> it's too dark for me. Oh wait, I'm blind in one eye. <laughs> <laughs> he used it in the wrong eye. I love it. He just lifts up the one eye and he's like, "Wait a second, why can't I see out of this thing?" Oh, the lens cap's on the other iPad. Damn it! <laughs> you keep it together, but you see nothing, Kareevi. The goggles, they do nothing. Good news, with nerves of steel turned on, it's a zero. 
<laughs> Safe panic attack. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Literally just comedy. Um, can I reattempt that observation roll without the binoculars? You can push it. Add a stress uh, and push. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to push it real good. Push it. Push it real good. Uh, and that is a plus one to stress. Oh, we got plenty of drugs, so. Oh, yeah. I forgot <laughs> oh, about that. And hey, he's already he's... a junkie. Okay. Thank you for reminding me, by the way, Maeve, about that. Because, uh... Oh, I remember. Oh, yeah. Your, your addiction to, uh... To that shit. I'm willing to risk this shit at this point. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, we got plenty of player right, characters who are willing to... Yeah. Um... Cool. Yeah, I mean, you okay. do... On the, your second glance, you're like, you're like, what the hell? You, these things are fucked up. Oh, that's right. There's blood all over the front. That makes sense. <laughs> you just wipe the blood off the lens. Try it again. Your hands are shaking as you put it to your eyes. Or your eye. Shit. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, you see down the hall. And let me see if I can sort of adjust the map a little bit. It's a long ass hall. Um, and there does seem to be, um, it's 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 very very dimly lit, only from the sort of light emanating from the orrery. Um, but you're able to see about oh I don't know 40, 50 feet down to the other side, and there does seem to be another door at the end of it. Yeah, it's Should probably yeah. Uh, okay. Really be letting him go by himself. Are these mm -hmm. striations that I'm seeing on this hallway um, stairs, or it's just patterns in the rock? Great question. Let me check it out here. I'll go walk up a little bit behind the lady. Make sure that... Uh... Yeah. Oh, I'm not stepping down it yet. I'm checking for traps. Sure, 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 sure. Um, I've already taken damage. It on is... Floor. First of all, it's, 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 it's smooth. Almost like it was bored with some kind of enormous sort of drill. Um, it's completely devoid of any of the hieroglyphs that you saw in the orrery. It's just completely... Like smooth as a like a gunshot bat, like a gun barrel. Um, it has a, a little bit of an incline, actually. Um, actually, pretty steep, probably like a forty-five degree angle going upwards to the top. Pretty good incline. Yeah. Hey, boss, we got we got a weird hallway going up, plus a normal hallway over there. We, door number one or door number two. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've sort of just got my gun trained down the other hallway, making sure that just in case anyone comes bursting through after hearing gunfire. It's like, I don't know, man. The devil you know or the devil you don't. In this case, we don't know either. So uh, flip a fucking coin. Actually, I turn back to uh, to Hull and I say, hey, Doc, uh, which way did they leave after they left you here? Uh... They went through there. And she points to the hallway that Colhavi's standing in. All right, then. Well, do we want to see if there's anything interesting behind this door down here, or just go in the direction we know they came? But we came, and she points to the other hallway, through there. Ah, what's on the other side of that? Ah. Uh, uh, another room with interesting materials that I am sure Deep Void would... Certainly want to obtain. I shoot a look over to Masters. Are these interesting materials guarded? No. Are they alive? I do not know what you mean. Are they alive? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a walk down this. Uh... As she, yeah, as she starts walking, I just post up on Overwatch. Sure. You're overwatching down the... The, up, the upward facing, the upward slanting hallway, yeah. correct? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so, uh, Masters, you get to the end of the hallway, there is another doorway in the same fashion that Colhavi, uh pushed that sort of egg-like protrusion that comes out of the wall. Uh, you see the same thing here. I will squish the egg. Squish the egg. All right, you squish the egg. And the doorway opens. And it shows a, cir a circular room very dark, with a single, uh, solitary, nine-meter-tall stone head in the, in the center of it. Okay. It looked, from the angle it was at, it looked like there was a very weird corpse laying on the ground. I mean, hey, take it how you want it. Um, 
what is interesting as well is with the light coming out of your shoulder um, uh, uh, lamp, you see that there are hieroglyphics carved across the entire surface of this room, as well as um, on the, the door that's sort of opened up in front of you. And as the door opens and shows you this, this sound comes and a rush of what feels like and certainly looks like soot and ash hits you right in the face. And you cough. I have my rebreather on. I honestly can't remember if I have my rebreather I'll say that you did. I'll say that you did. I feel like I did. I feel feel like like you did too. Yep, yep. Into the room. Um, and yeah. it just like hits you like in the, the whole face, like gets in your eyes, gets in your hair, everything. Kind of like wipe some of it off and look at it. It looks like black ashy material. What is this place? Now you can't really smell anything because you have the rebreather on. Mm-hmm. But the whole room looks like someone has just taken a fucking flamethrower to it a long time ago. very cautiously step across the threshold. Okay. Um, you guys watch as Masters steps into the room. Masters, uh, give me an observation check, please. I have any banked pluses on observation. No, okay. Here we go. One. one success. One success. Okay. With one success, I'm going to say that you see, um, amongst all the detritus uh, of the burned room, uh, you see what appear to be sort of little metal, like almost stools or containers throughout the room, um, and they're sort of buckled and, and cracked, almost as if they were exposed to extreme heat a long, long time ago. And this stone head in the room is charred and blackened as well. I kind of nudge one of the containers with my boot, roll it over. Okay. We haven't always had the best of luck with metal containers, so I don't want to touch it directly just yet. Okay. Um, you nudge the one of the buckets nearest you, and you hear like a... a like, like the sound of what sounds like uh, something inside of it, like tinkling against itself. Okay, I'm gonna kind of like put my foot on top and like roll it back and forth. Okay, you hear more tinkling and sort of glass sounds. Uh, gonna fucking grit this. I'm gonna try to open one of them. Okay, you open it. Um, there is a sort of poof of vacuum as you sort of kick the top open um, and you see inside an enormous number of what seem like glass or, or, or very small glass shards, maybe you know anywhere between an inch to two inches wide. There's it, the, the, the container is just full of it. They are blackened, they are destroyed. Whatever was inside these uh, small, if or, or large containers made of glass, they are absolutely wrecked. So it was a glass container that was inside the metal container. Well, it could very well be a glass container, but it was something made of glass okay. that is absolutely shattered, blackened, destroyed inside this this bucket-like container. That's correct, yeah. i just pocket one of the pieces of glass. Sure. Uh, okay. I my tiny eye. Okay. Uh, now let me see. Yeah, from your vantage point, you did get a single success on your observation. There's something over here on this wall where I just yeah. pinged. I will walk over and take a look at it. Okay. You guys um, 
from your vantage I point- actually, I will radio back to them and be like, this place looks trashed, but uh, there's something over here on the what eastern wall that I want to take a look at. And then I'll Anybody? walk over. I don't think so. Stand by. Tehal sort of just looks at the rest of you in the room. She says, does she know what she's doing? Reasonably. I also take over watch. Top secret. She sort of arches an eyebrow and continues tapping on her datapad. Back to you, Masters. What you see on the back wall kind of beggars description because it is some kind of metal bas relief. Um, and it is a depiction of some kind of creature that is uh, crucified. It is it is held up with its arms uh, akimbo, its head sort of uh, on a slant, and its its body sort of almost interwoven with itself. And it is pinioned to some kind of biomechanical tree, um, and it is coming out of, uh, according to this you know this this depiction, some kind of strange liquid. That's the kind of shit you can't unsee. Um, you notice as you approach it that one of the um, sort of nodules on this bas relief um, looks like there's a handprint on it. Hey guys, I got what might be a real stupid idea. Uh, how stupid? Like, scale from 1 to 10? Oh, like a 7, maybe? Yeah, it's pretty stupid. I gotta see this now. <laughs> so I, I walk in. Okay. <laughs> well, whatever was, as, as these guys sort of wander and be like, well, whatever was in these containers is trash, but, uh, I point out what I saw and say, does that look like a handprint to you? Yeah. Well, you, get, you think about giving it a high five? Yeah. Hmm. Sorry for one sec, the player version did not load. That could be why everybody's seeing everything. I'm not seeing everything. Oh, the you mean the stream is seeing everything. Yeah, yo. That's so strange. Um, hmm. You guys are only seeing... Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're only seeing... You guys are only seeing stuff in the room. That's very strange. Okay, no worries. Let's soldier on. It's no big deal. I'll figure oh, it out later. Here's the thing. We're here. We got, we got orders here to be here for a reason, right? But... Several. Oh, yeah. But, like, even if this were to be relics, this is kind of low on priority in terms of lives and uh, getting space pope. I mean, it's not about relics. It's about, I kind of like glance back down the hallway. I can't see all Al I can't see all and I say, yeah, uh, figuring out what the fuck deep void is up to. What if we get scavenge some, it's gotta be something we can scavenge around here in terms of tech maybe. Well, When you put it like that, I vote for the high five. Yeah. All right. Nice knowing you fuckers. And I put my hand on it. Okay. We'll I'm rating your whiskey. <laughs> Might as well go on observation just in case. Okay. You place your hand on it and it depresses and sort of sinks in in the same fashion as the egg shaped mechanism does. And as it does so, the um, this crucified bas relief of an alien shifts, and you see a passageway behind it. Oh, good news, everybody! I didn't die. 
I'm gonna poke my head into the passageway and see what I can see. It's a short passageway. It ends about, I don't know, five meters away from you. Again, with a a doorway that has a, a, a an egg-shaped device on the other side of it. I will check it out. Okay. Um, I don't have an interstitial corridor for it, but that's okay. I figured. <laughs> that's fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say that you most likely would push the, the doorway to open that and end up yes. on the other side. All right, so I'll just push you over to here. So you end up moving through, and as you do so, as you push the door, uh, uh, orifice, there is an enormous whoosh of air, of fresh air, and you hear... All of you, I would say, probably coming from that room, an enormous rush of sound, which is the sound of rushing water. Sounds like this. And as masters, you come out to the other side, you see that it opens up onto a a promontory, essentially. That there's a a little bit of a... a, a, um, a, 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 an outcropping. And from your position, you can see, as you move out onto it, an enormous underground river. And adjacent to it, a humongous, probably 50 meter tall waterfall that plunges down into this river. Is it supposed to be dark in here? Is that why I only have limited field of vision? That is correct, yeah. Okay, just doing a check. I'm gonna get on comms and be like, well, I found, uh... Shit, it's actually quite pretty. I found a waterfall and a river. Is there a... Are there any rivers on the surface of Arcturus, or is this underground water something new and weird? No, there are rivers and lakes in Arcturus, absolutely, yeah. Okay, do we know of one near where we are right now that might make this a potential escape point? You're not aware of any lakes or rivers um, on the surface of the of the planet um, as you yeah. walk further and further away from the group. <laughs> yeah, like... I was just, I'm just sort of like skirting the edge of this cliff because sure. my vision doesn't go very far. Yep, I'm just yep. trying to see. Uh, I would put like, you back yeah. here because otherwise you're going to fall down. Oh, that's not... <laughs> that's the... Okay. Yeah, that's oh, the... That's, that's, that's the steep part. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to find this waterfall, you tell me. Oh, okay. Um, well, if you move a little further south and then to the east, you'll see it. The thing is, like, on the map, there are two lakes ah, way far in the okay. north, northwest. But also we know that the Butte Pass had, like, it was, like, kind of watery underneath. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mud. All right. Muddy. I just found something that looks very creepy. You did. Um... Masters, as you move towards the waterfall, which you see, as, a, as going, I said, yeah. plunging I'm all the way down. any closer to that thing than right here. There is a, um, what you could only describe as an altar, a stone altar right here, facing um, the back of an enormous stone head, which juts out uh, and, and, uh, and just sort of like literally just plunges down 50 meters into the water. Any hieroglyphs around here? Uh, are you talking about on the altar? Yes. Let me see. I don't believe so, but I will tell you. You know what? Make an observation roll. Nada. You don't see anything. File this under weird and creepy, just like the rest of this fucking job. All right, I'm heading back to the group. All right, there you go. I can just move you back to where you were. Oh, yeah. Uh, Noting that as you pass by the secret entrance over here, there Mm -hmm. is another door Mm. right here, which you have not yet been through. Gotcha. Well, guys, there is another door out of this area. I just don't know where the fuck it goes. But uh, do we think it's worth checking out right now? I haven't died yet. Which side is it going up to? What direction? Heading south. Ow. Southwest. Ooh. Southwest. A little odd. Like the real maze. Maybe take a look, see if uh, see if it goes anywhere, but I feel like wherever Ruity went, it's in Cold Lady's direction, and that's up north. Yeah, this feels 
kind of tangential, but I'll, uh, I'll poke my head in. Stay tuned. Uh, Isaac, make an observation roll. Yeah, what, what's your observation, Isaac? Normally. Great. You got a panic, but I don't think that's going to do much. Ooh, nice. Just roll your panic roll, just for funsies. You're yeah. fine. Uh, but you did get more than two successes on your observation, which allows you to see something that Masters didn't. In a corner of the room, just... Well, there's no corners in a circular room. Um, <laughs> underneath this giant stone head, uh, there's something shining underneath it. Guys, I think I found something. Uh, what you got, Radio Shack? Gotta try to. I lower myself down a bit, try to reach for this shiny thing. Okay, your hands, um, sort of reach. It's hard to get. Um, make a mobility roll. Miracles, miracles can happen. Um, your hands close around something. It feels like it's about, I don't know, three or four inches. It's long. It's cylindrical. You pull it out, and as you pull it out, your hands, cr uh, uh, come, your hand comes out from underneath the head, and you see that it's a small glass cylinder uh, with a sort of pinched top. There's no cap on it. And it's full of some kind of grayish black liquid. Sort of. It's not fully uh, opaque, but as you sort of move it around, it does seem to sort of swirl. Oh, this is this thing? Oh, this is this stuff, anyways. Ugh. Does it resemble any liquid that um, some have seen before, like maybe in Operation Deep Shaft? Very much so. All right, uh, Raider Shack, um, let me oh. take that from you. <laughs> All right, sure. Make a mobility roll. Oh, God. Oh, okay. You've seen this before, right, Summers? Yeah, yeah. Take a stress point. You take okay. it. You're sweating. Isaac's like, what the fuck? But yeah, you have it now. I'm holding it and just go, all right, Masters, um, I got a vial of nope juice. The one from Deep Shaft. Oh, f fuck me. Well, I ask what that is? No, don't ask. Yeah. I'll tell you later. Yeah. Wait. What is this? Wait, what you Just going on about? Don't. Do not get that shit on you. Is this, this is this file sealed at all? It's just pinched, right? It looks like the material, if it's glass or if it's some kind of. Uh, it's like an ampule, basically, so that like. Exactly. You, yeah, you. It's the kind of thing that you break to get open. Okay. Cool. Well, well, this was like the only thing it's I found. It's a closed Ah. Well, this is like the only thing I found in this room, so unless there was more? Oh, sorry about that. If oh, there was definitely more. There's broken glass everywhere inside these containers that it looks like someone took a flamethrower to, and now we know exactly why. Ah, uh, if it's really that bad, why are you carrying it exactly? Well, we found it, and, um, I don't know. It's, it looked like, it didn't look like something that Isaac should be handling. Um, I... Yeah, but I don't think it's something you should be handling either. I, I, I think we should get rid of it at the earliest opportunity and forget where we ever fucking saw it. Yeah. Any ideas? I mean, I'd we say come in here and throw it in the thing. fucking river, but there's no guarantee it won't break. 
And I don't know if I want to deal with the fish that drank the juice. Yeah. Um. Just leave it here then. Because I mean, this stuff guys, is. But I don't want that shit anywhere near me. All right. What's this? This 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 uh, floor is like, stone, right? The floor. The floor is stone. Yes, it is blackened stone. And outside is um. Outside is like, was it like dirt out there by the river? Yes. How about I just bury this? That's as good an idea as any. Um, I'm just gonna go out to the river room. Okay, I'll bring you out there. I'm gonna take my uh, rusty as she trusty. Come, as she comes yeah. out, I'm like, it's, I, like I'm staying so far away from that shit. I'm gonna take my rusty trusty shovel. Take Wait, hey, Howard, are you holding this? Yeah, I'm just holding it, and I, I got, I got it one hand. I got the shovel in the other. I'm strong as heck. She is. It's true. Okay. Okay. I'm going to uh, put it in the hole. I'm just gonna gently put that in, put the dirt on top of the. Uh, on top of the ampule and just pat it down. Pat it down in like a corner, like right over here. Hold up for one second, folks. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> Somebody needs a hug. Mm -hmm. I'm so pleased about how much use I've got and gotten out of this shovel. You have made very, very good like that that okay. has become one of the most useful random items in this game in this uh, particular mission that's what i was yeah. looking for i mean you beat a guy to death with it you be like three guys hole. to death with it <laughs> yeah that shovels do you think it's like dented at this point oh it's it's got all sort of dings in it i mean it's a folding trenching spade it's probably made of really hefty stuff Where yeah, did it? Everyone go? i'm just surprised you didn't have like master stick a hole for you and not <laughs> Like, I'm going to hold it with one hand and take... I think I psychically uh, transferred all of my fear to my son because he woke up from a very bad dream. Mm. Aww. Oh. No, no, it's not it. aww. It's like crazy. Yeah, he like came over to me and I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I had a bad... I had a bad... I'm like, oh, man, okay. And then I'm like, okay, what happened? What happened? He's like, I had a really bad dream. And I'm like, now you're creeping me out, kid. Go to sleep. Is he okay? He's fine. He's fine, but like, when that kind of shit happens, when you're like, okay, creepy role-playing game, and then like the kid's like, I had a bad dream, Dad. And you're like, did I did so, I cause that? Did I psychically no, infest could, my son? You yeah. couldn't have. I took the haunted Ouija board out of your house. Oh, that's true. You did. Thank you. <laughs> I might have gotten another one. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I've seen the one. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yes, right. he's fine. All right. I hope. So, all right. So now that that is safely under the dirt, mm -hmm. I'm gonna wander back over and uh, point at the new door and say, "Should we take a look and just get the fuck out of here?" Oh. Yeah, take a peek and then um, let's go back and join the others. Okay. Yeah, good plan. Let's go. All right, let's flip back to the others in the orrery. -re. Um, Tehal is done typing her notes into her PDAT, and she turns to you, Winters, and she says, So you have come to bring me back, yes? Uh, yeah, that's the plan. What I understand. Oh, that's good. She looks at you. She says, uh, she sort of sidles in, and she says, So you know what you have to do, don't you? I have no idea, actually. Uh, just a doctor. She nods. They're the Marines, not me. Of course, of course. Your friend over there. Oh, hello, hello. And she sort of like uh, calls out to you, Kohavi. Yeah. Uh, you sound like you are at the end of a very long hallway. Mm. Uh. 
Oh. Yeah, how do I do that? You mean right now? No. <laughs> oh, <I'm> <laughs> oh, yes, no, and yes. <laughs> Shit. Uh, no. So, um, Bohavi is... Uh, he's he's not going to take his eyes off it, but he's going to continue the conversation. He's He has no idea what the hell is down here, and after... After a jump scare and actually falling in a pit and stabbing himself with primitive spikes, he is not in the mood for this shit. Okay. Um, so you're just gonna stand there, still at Overwatch, just. No. Got it. What can I do for you, Miss? Uh, no, I, your your squad has. Uh, I don't know what, if you are planning to bring me back to the ship. I think they're trying to figure out which way is safer to go and whether we can complete our mission before splitting the team up. Oh, I, I knew nothing of military tactics. I do not... The battlefield. Sure, sure, absolutely. Okay. Um, I will so just this, complete... This that you were doing for them, but what was it that got you captured while you were here? Just out of curiosity. I was here on orders, of course. We all are. But what were your orders studying? You know how they keep us in the dark in different departments. I want to make sure I can help you. I was studying the languages. Did you have any breakthroughs? <laughs> I think I mentioned them to you about half an hour ago uh, about the the language and the the musical I mean, note. More than can you can you understand like? To tell me more about that. Maybe I want to fill the time. Maybe I'm trying to listen, but I can't. I I, I pull my head away to try and explain this to her, and then. I'm, I'm trying to focus on this. Like you are very inquisitive oh, for a member of the Black Guard. Well, sometimes you get bored after the simple missions. I'm just trying to kill the time down here, and there's nothing down this hallway. But I'm still going to do my job. Certainly. Quiet quitting. Quiet quitting. Yes, I heard of this thing back in the 21st <laughs> century. Didn't last very long. Yeah, completely misunderstood idea that you shouldn't be abused as a workhorse and that people should be respected. But we as Marines are taught in every state. <laughs> that was be before Wayland yeah. Yutani. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my little joke. Sometimes I get bored and curious and I am not allowed to quiet quit. So I just ask questions. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll just finish my report so that when we get back, I can yeah, okay. file it. Yes. That's okay. Fair. Very good. So we're going to switch back to uh, Masters and Summers, who are about to open this door out out in the hall. What are you doing, Isaac? You've just sort of been hanging out in the oh, in the, like I didn't in the know room. Where they went. Yeah, he he phased through the door. He pulled an Albalfin, uh <laughs> and just, like, just all left you behind. <laughs> I looked, I looked, ar I looked around for a second. The next thing you know, everyone else is gone. You were standing there when I opened up the passageway. That's true. Like the doors, the doors I, blocked. Yes. Oh, Matt doesn't. Where would you like to go, Isaac? I follow with the others. Okay. <laughs> if I can. Which others? There's two groups, dude. <laughs> uh, masters. Fine. I will push you through to where the masters and the summers oh! are. There you are. I was poor. Oh man, an invisible force is having to go through a wall. Yes, it it hurts. Just but just for a little bit. Um. All right. So you push the door knob. Let's call it the door knob, right? Because otherwise it becomes really kind of weird. Um, and that will open this into there. Just remove it. Cool. Alright. So now you see a small room ahead of you lit by your um, lit, lit by your shoulder lamps. This seems to be some kind of an antechamber. Um, this chamber um, has some strange things inside of it. You're not quite sure what they are, but they're lined um, with what seems to be about three meter tall statues, perhaps, um, of humanoid creatures. Uh, humanoid humanoid or like Arcturian humanoid? They do not look humanoid like you or humanoid like Arcturian because they're three meters tall. Um, these statues have sort of ribbed bodies and bulbous heads and a short, stout trunk that sort of 
just sort of emanates from the middle of its head and sort of connects into its main body. And these statues look almost... uh, The outsider uh, of these statues are are very, very... um, uh, They're very... They're very decorative in a way. Um, they're they're very realistic looking. Uh, it's almost like they've got skin on them because this the, the the outside of the stone seems almost like it's been withered and desiccated. Like maybe it's not actually stone, and maybe these are corpses. Could be. I mean. Well, if we were looking for a safe way out, I definitely don't think this is it. I'm pretty sure everywhere we go is a safer than what we've been dealing with. There does seem to be a door on the other side of the chamber, though, yeah. Can I pick up a rock from the ground and just kind of gently chuck it at one of these statues from sure. outside? That's what I would like to do. Chuck. And it goes clack, 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 clack. So it hits a statue and it does sound like rock? Um, yeah. I mean, when what happens is that it does, in fact, hit the, the, the statue. Um, it does something strange, though. It doesn't, like, hit it and then just look like rock. In fact, um, it sort of makes an indentation. Like you've punctured... Uh, and made sort of a, almost a small um, sort of indentation, like I said, in, in this statue. But with a rock, that doesn't make any sense if they were made of stone. I don't think these are statues. I think these are fucking corpses So I don't even know what. Let's maybe not go this way. Is this go- way going upwards or downwards sloping? Because it's straight. Straight. Okay. Okay, it looks like stairs. Oh, are those shadows? It looks like stairs. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe... Yeah, I don't... I... D- yeah. I no, fuck this. Nope, fuck it. No. I just close the door. Okay, close the door. And I'm done. Let's go back to the we... Yeah, okay. That... Yeah. I don't need to get eaten by a fucking corpse. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Back to, uh, Colvady and Winter's Okay, up. I'll move you back. Vroop. Like that old movie, Night of the Living Dead. No fucking thank you. I don't think I've ever seen that actually. Was, was that in game or out of game? Both. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Fair. I believe we're by that. Alright, movie, movie Night Under Tam, Tam. Come on. Do you want to see? Again, I don't watch horror movies often. Only when we make him. <laughs> Especially the thing. Well, I found a bunch of broken glass and a fucking river. Great. Uh, okay. Yeah, big ass river, lots of weird. I mean, that's your corpses. Cor- yeah, no they idea. were weird. They were some weird statues. I don't. It, it. There's nothing down that's gonna help us get out of here any faster. Oh, we can let our boss uh, look over the tapes off of our heads later, and I'm gonna sort of glance in a vague, d- non-specifying way towards uh, Tali. There we go. Yeah. Like, when uh, when um, Ryder says the thing about corpses, like Masters is immediately trying to talk over him while giving him the shut the fuck up eyes. Yeah. All right. Door number two, then. Lead the way, Kay. I've had enough excitement for the last half hour. I'm just gonna turn the, the sound. Of click the... on the marine lamp. Oh, great, and the waterfall. Really oh, the waterfall. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it down to nothing. Advance slowly while making an observation check. Then, if I'm up front. Uh, Doc, it's up to you if you want to wait here or come with us. Uh, I will be more than happy to stay here. All right. Oh, you, you got a gun. You know how to shoot it. I do now. Oh, great. Anyone who's not us comes through here? Wait. Or not an Arcturian civilian? Which, Blast them. Which one of those questions did you answer? Do you know how to shoot it or that you have a gun? 
I, oh, I, I knew she had it. I can see it in her hand. Yeah, she, she shows yeah. you the gun that she picked off the ground. She says, I, I, I have a gun. I know how to sh- shoot it. You point it. And you pulled it. Yes. Great. Great. Anyone who's not us or an Arcturian civilian doesn't leave this room. <sighs> Fair enough. Enjoy your research. We'll be back for you. Okay. Winners, do you mind uh, passing me a nap before we go so I don't have to get off you later? Yeah. Uh, gonna get now, close and hand it. I am, I am keeping track of all of your nap reliefs and how many you've used. Well, Summer doesn't do she was taking it. She just said she was taking it oh, from Winters. I understand. I know. Oh, okay. How many uh, they've used total? Like, on a... Used in succession. How many I own? Yeah, uh, this, within a specific span of time, correct? This would be correct. my first. If I were to take it, this would be my first in uh, in this operation. Correct. I'm just saying yeah. that for others. I think um, this is my second since we landed. That is correct. Yeah. I've only taken one since we landed. That is correct. Yes. I'm aware of the mechanic. I'm trying. Master's just trying to be good. That's fine. Um, when you Listen, pass off the nap, fight in the aquarium was just so brutal. We all became drug addicts. We I, just need to accept that that's understandable. A, that's a understandable. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, Summers, when you ask Winters for a nap relief, handing off the nap relief, uh, Colhavy, something in you sort of twitches, um, and you're just like, I really need. I really need a nap, like, right now. So take two additional stress. Oof. Copy. Like, you need it. Like, your hand is starting to shake. Yeah, I've been more than a shift since upstairs with the bombs. Yeah. That's, yeah, yep, that's fair. I am going to do that, that classic movie thing of, like, trying to clench my fist to control the shakes. Cool. And I'm gonna let that hand drop to my side for a second whilst the other arm is up with the scope rifle until it slows and steadies and then I can aim again. Roger and then I keep advancing down the hallway methodically checking for these traps. Okay. I mean it's a it's uh, a slog, you're going uphill, essentially. So uh there is something that uh, you didn't bring up. I don't think Summer's just been close to me yet. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. Not to, uh, screw myself, but, you know. Good point. I didn't realize that. I forgot. So, Summer's... Summer's Masters haven't seen me yet. No, that's well, fair. I've, I've seen you up close. Masters just straight up hasn't been paying attention. Totally. Yeah, but I've, mm-hmm. That's true. Totally focused on other shit. Yeah. That's fair. I think, yeah, I think it was just... Ours. Yep. So, Summers, when you look, uh, you don't need to make an observation. I mean, when you get close enough, you see that where Winters was hit in that battle, there is a stain of white where there ought to be a stain of red. Did they cover her up with tape? I thought they did again. I think that was in the previous operation. Uh, for some reason, yeah. I... For some reason, oh, for some reason, I thought we patched you up, that someone patched I, you up again. I tried, but it didn't, uh, gotcha. I mean, it's the stains are still on my clothing. Cool. Uh, that, that's a point of stress for me, ain't it? Yup. Yep. I'm just gonna be like... Alright, I guess, uh... I guess you really like packing mayonnaise for, like, your lunch, huh? Okay. Right. Uh, uh, that's a weird euphemism, I guess. I say things in order to cope. So, are we cool? We're, we're good? You're good? I mean, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just going to assume that I'm not standing right next to her while they're having this conversation. <laughs> that's okay. a good idea. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm over here giving the dog pointers on how to shoot her weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to roll for observation down this hallway? Sure. You're about halfway mark, yeah. Thanks. Damn, dude. Uh, Tanik 
three. Oof. This is with yeah. the Nerves of Steel built in. Yep. yep. Superb. Yes. Yeah. You s- ascend the slope. Um, and you're able to see very little, but you are able to s- to hear uh, the sound of rushing water coming from the other end of the corridor. I think I found the top of your waterfall. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna dust off. continue moving slowly. Uh, actually, before I get that, can I stunt? No, never mind. It's not gonna do anything. Not, not in a straight hallway, unless I can count something at the end of the hallway. You just see that door with that same nodule at the end of it that you can push if you want. Yeah. Yeah. If if the stunt's not gonna do anything in the hallway itself, I'll let it slide. Um, I'm going to keep going until we get to the door itself, and all then right. go first peek around the corner. All right. That is all right. No problem. Are the rest of us moving in behind? I had planned on bringing up the rear with my big gun. If you want. Yep. Move yourselves in. Yeah. I would like to spot check at the doors. Uh, so you want to open the door? Yes. Cool. All oh, right. I, you, can, you can hear the waterfall through the closed door? Yeah, I mean, it's it's very faint, but yes. Then yes, I am gonna open the door, gun trained, count to five, and then poke out for an observation check. Cool. Unless something comes out in the first five seconds at us. And then All fire. right. Oops. All right. So you push the door, and it opens, and the sound is absolutely stupendously loud as it echoes through into this chamber. Um. And you see in front of you a small, sort of, uh, natural cavern opening. I can't remember, we were just out right um, Can you tell me more about that opening now that I'm poking the gun through and taking a peek with my own? Yeah, I mean, the walls uh, here in the corridor were like nine feet tall, but as the, as the door opens, you see that the cavern opens up like a hundred, maybe 150 feet up into the top. Okay. Uh, first, let's resolve the panic for the observation outside the door. Superb. That's a 60. Okay, you still keep it together. You're still fine. Um, you're sweating, but you're keeping it together. My sweat doesn't bother me. As I open up, I'm going to look left and right. Yep. And what do I sort of see here? So, like uh, Masters before you, you see the same... Uh, the same sight you see that there is a very steep decline from this um from this outcropping down into some kind of underground very swift moving river and there is an enormous sound of as you pan to the right uh, uh what you can sort of see glinting uh from you know uh, from a reflection off of your headlamp uh, shoulder lamp is this just huge enormous 90 meter tall waterfall that descends from above down to where you are and then down into this underground river so there is a little bit of a a sort of a small uh uh, incline from where you are to get to the top of the waterfall okay and that's up here uh no it's it's actually like way the hell over here where masters was did oh uh, yeah? Did I see this passageway when I walked up there earlier? You That's... you didn't. You walked right by it. Oh oh, I mean, I saw it IRL. I just didn't go look in it. Oh fair. Okay then then yes, you saw it, okay. but you didn't go in. Okay, it. so we we both. So this is the same like mm-hmm. promontory that I was on before. Okay. Similar so to then, similar to it. Yeah. I am going to use the observation stunts to say how can I get in past away? Is there a way that looks like I can cross this water safely with this? apparently very steep decline. You would need a grappling hook and rope of about 90 meters. A really good throw and one of our winches. Your winch has a 50 foot, I believe, uh, radius. 90 meters is 270 feet. Okay. I have a feeling, like, like, realizing where we are, I kind of, like, 
look to Summers and I'm like, fuck it. I think we have to go down the hallway of doom. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take a look towards the edge, but not at the very very like. Listen, I'm used to bluffs. I get it. I don't want to stand on the edge of the bluffs, but I want to stand as close as Kohavi would sort of like camp out a foot ahead of him and safely gauge, and then sort of look to the left, look to the right. I assume this blue line is just a zone demarcation. Correct. Well, dead end or. Very, very, very jump fall. Uh, oh, it's not a dead end. You just gotta come down this way. Well, here's the thing, Masters, right? Yeah. Didn't... She... They all said that they came from the room that we were... That was burned up, right? Which means they probably came through the passageway and from in here. Right, and then she said that they came up through this way to get to the top of the waterfall? Or it's just they used a different fucking door and it doesn't matter. Hmm. Because the top of the waterfall is on the other side. Also, now that she's left back there, do we really want to just leave one of the key sieves alone down here? She seemed to think she'd be fine. For sure. I mean, shit, if she dies, well, at least we can get her peed at. She's void. I don't trust her. We'll bring her back oh, because that's there. our job, but to be honest, I'm not terribly worried about it. The information's what's important. So, do we want to walk down this way, or you circle back to your death hallway? We don't have to circle back. Just follow me. Yep. And she kind of points generally in that direction and says, and, uh, don't go stand over there. So, uh, the hallway of doom is right here, but if you guys want to see this creepy-ass altar, I found it's this way. Oh fuck, that's creepy. So, as you've been sort of ascending to the top of this enormous cavern, uh, you finally reach, reach the top of the waterfall. And there, at its peak, as you guys have seen, is this stone face very much like the ones that you've seen before, looking outward down the river, down this underground river, and at the back of the of the head is this enormous stone altar of some kind. I wonder. Me too. If there's anything special about the altar that we were to get like a closer look at, like maybe buttons or... You could certainly go take a look if you'd like. I mean, it was definitely special to whoever built it. Yeah, might as well, yeah. Just gotta take a closer look at it. Cool. Yeah. yeah, see if they have one of those uh, hieroglyphics on it. We can get Masters to sing again. I'm gonna no, post yeah, up wait. over here while they do that. Yeah, looking around where... Over one. Yeah, looking around what they said. You're getting closer to it, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Alright. Make an observation roll. One cool. Um, Isaac, you get closer to the uh, to the altar, and you're pretty sure you see something like around the other side, and that's when you hear, and there is a splash sound as this stuff goes straight into your eyes, and you scream with pain. This shit goes in, and it starts burning like a mofo. And everyone hears the scream of Isaac just echo through the entire cavern. And there is material, this sort of blackish gray material, on his eyes. Take a stress point, Isaac. That's the first thing. And you cannot see. You are blinded. Do we recognize? Is this like runny liquid or it's something hard? No, it's liquid. Oh, uh, shit. Guys, I can't see shit! He's teetering. He's see. like, he's I, like I'm, moving I'm, left and right. I want to run it, over and uh, steady him. Make a mobility roll, look, Summers. Oh, does boy. it look like nope juice? Make your panic roll, Summers. Isaac looks like he's, he's about to fall, but you grab him. <sighs> you're panting, you're panting. Isaac is like just on the edge. Yep. Um... I'm just gonna grab him and just start like dragging him backwards uh, 
onto um, more steady ground. Okay. That's just oh. keeping her distance. Does that stuff on his face look like the stuff we've seen before? I mean, it's black, it's liquid. Oh, some... Got some weird-looking liquid, Gamma. Oh. When has he got anything for this? Any sort of, like, um... Linen or something to, or like cleanser to clean out his eyes. I mean, this is the stuff we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, some, some water too. Water oh, out. I forgot. Isaac, make a panic roll. Yeah, like honestly, this is this is where this is where panic absolutely one hundred percent comes in. Are we also all taking a panic? For nope, just it? Isaac. He's freaking out, but he's fine. He keeps it together. He breathes. He uses his uh, his core breathing, and he comes back, but he still cannot see. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is this well. the stuff you were talking about earlier? What the hell? Hope not. But uh, don't take yeah. this the wrong way, Radio Shack. You start coughing and we're gonna shoot you. Hell. Wait. Why are we gonna shoot him? Because if that shit is what it could be, he ain't gonna be Radio Shack much longer. What is that supposed to mean? Well, it means that yeah. your skin's going to turn gray, and your eyes are going to turn black, and uh, you're going to try to murder us. First thing is that you start preaching. Okay, I, I, I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to try to clean out his eyes, I guess. Okay. You have a medical kit, right? I do, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so make a medical uh, aid roll. I can do that. Oh, fuck. But look on the bright side. It could be some other weird alien shit we haven't seen yet that won't turn you into a monster. I can't see the bright side if I can't see! So, um, you open up your med kit, <laughs> and you take out gauze, okay. you take out some sponges, you take out one of those eye kits that they have for kids in chem in chemistry class, the, the, the squeegee bottles. I wash, yeah. Thank you, I wash. Sarah knows all about this. <laughs> <laughs> and you just spray Isaac's face. Isaac, this like uh, a warm liquid just cleanses out your eyes. They go from sort of a, a complete black opaque to sort of a fuzzy gray and then just blurry. And then after about a minute or so, you see like you could see a little better. So instead of a minus three to observation and ranged combat, you only have a minus one. Oh, oh God. Ugh. I mean, oh, man. maybe you should lot. put those goggles on, run around your neck. Yeah. Might have maybe helped. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, put the goggles over my eyes from now on. Okay. Good idea. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I find, did I find another door? Is this a door? Can you, uh, can I just whisper to, uh, Summers back here? Uh, you do, in fact, see a door there. That is correct. You, uh, being serious about that stuff? Yeah, it... Let me put it this way. We've got Kalevi because of that shit. Alright, uh, well, I guess we'll just keep an eye on him then. Yeah, and trust me when I say that. Being, keeping an eye on, on Newt is the best thing we can do, because what if that's as bad as it could be, whatever is going to happen to him is going to be even worse. So, it's like one of them zombie movies, you know? Have you seen zombie movies? I, I don't know if y'all see movies or enjoy movies. I, I, yeah, I've, I've seen movies. Oh. Nice. Like, do you have opinions on our, like, movies and stuff? And anyway, this is getting, this is getting weird. I don't really think this is the time for that. Hey yeah. guys, I found another door. Maybe this one's not lined with doom. Okay, so Master right, says, you come close to the door, you are doom. pretty sure that you, even though this material is almost soundproof, you're almost sure that you hear 
the sound of a scream on the other side of it. A man's scream. Okay, then. That's all you can hear without more, perhaps, observation. Well, someone's screaming back there. Y'all ready for this? Locked and loaded. I'm gonna pop my nap a leaf. Okay. Have we been in a safe location long enough for me to get a hit point back? No. This is not so, safe. I appreciate that. Well, yeah. we were up chatting with the doc for a while. I didn't know if that was enough time. But I don't think it was. I don't I think mean, it was. But you can't blame I, a girl for asking. Oh, uh, no, absolutely not. Okay. As okay. Master is inspecting the door, I'm going to sort of fall back slightly to Winters uh, and, and be like, hey, you got any more of those uh, nap reliefs? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to inject the nap relief. Okay. So, okay. Um, this is now your third nap relief. Yeah. In a day. Correct? I think something like that. It okay. depends on... Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's, 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 I think it's the second or third since I've landed. I no think problem. It's the third. It's no problem. Uh, no problem. The nap really flows yeah. through your veins and your stress just... It just melts away like a river. And you feel high as fuck. Your brain chemistry has kicked in to the point where you are now absolutely and positively addicted to nap relief. Um, so much so that you take some penalties. And I'll tell you what those penalties are. Number one, you have a minus one to observation and ranged combat. You have a minus two to manipulation. And sorry, give me one second. And um, you said ranged combat as well. Correct, ranged. Ra sorry, ranged. Let me give you the. Let me give you the minus ones. Ranged combat, close combat, minus two to manipulation, minus two to observation, minus one to mobility. I'm not fucking around with this. Like this is this is this is what Nap Relief does if you take too much of this shit. And is there anything else? Let me just check my notes. Is this permanent? You don't know. Um, and and a minus one to stamina. That's it. Well, thanks for roll twenty for including this handy new. Yeah, they've card. really they've really upped the game with the with the roll twenty uh, character sheets. Oh, what did they add in temporary penalties? They added when penalties go, to when each you the button, There's now a, yeah. Yeah, it's really oh, neat. Oh, nice. And it'll it'll tag on top and then erase as it levels out. It's super hot. That's really cool. That's very cool. Ain't that the truth. All right. Thanks, Roll20. Thanks, Roll20. Especially um, meeting you, because that's a lot of shit you would have to track. Otherwise. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, yeah, you guys look, and as uh, Kalhavi injects the nap into his arm, he sort of teeters for a sec, and he, like, puts his arm against the against the stone wall. And okay, so it looks. Right? He looks like the I, Leaning Tower of Pisa there for a sec. I am not thrilled about going into another situation like the last time. Yeah, man. Uh, well. Need a minute. Don't do drugs, kids. <sighs> exactly. That's, oh, that's the message here. Hello, mates of fate, and your awesome raid. Thank you so much for joining hello. us. All right, Kay. I get it, man. This job sucks. But it's a fucking job. Hey, look at look at this way. You only got like what another two and a half years left on this hitch. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, something like that. Please. And just like look back at Newt. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. Oh, I mean, Masters has very clearly entered into the dark humor coping mechanism part yeah. of this of this mission. She is, is the one who wound up catatonic. Banter? Does not count as banter. It counts I as anti banter. banter. She's seen someone banter before. Yes, but I don't have the skill. I'm sorry. Maybe if you she survives, she can take it. What do you need? 
Oh god, Master's banter would just be so fucking snarky. Oh though. my god, super snark. Why not? Why not? Yes, exactly. <laughs> my not doesn't have enough of a sense of humor for banter. All right, so you're at the door. You hear a scream. Right. What do you do? I've got I've got my NSG rifle out. I'm gonna hit the. I'm gonna look at everybody and just be like. Scope yeah. over her shoulder. Here. If you're being quiet, I will allow you to make a stealth roll. I'll make a stealth. This is a well. Actually, stealth roll is the oh, person who has the lowest, the lowest mobility. Yeah, Sorry. this is a group. This is a group stealth. And group right? stealth. We've determined that that is. Well, I don't know, Colhavy. What's your what's your stealth oh, now? What's your mobility now? Uh, so mobility to agility four. So six minus one would be five. Okay. Still also, five. five total. Also a five. Isaac, I think you had the lowest total the last time I checked. For mobility and all that. Mobility yeah. plus yeah, agility. Yeah, total. Yeah, it's just three. Perfect. Roll it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you yes. got some stunts to bank there. I think we should just bank three plus ones to later mobility roll. Oh yeah. Amazing. This is impressive considering you're out of line right now. Bank. I have right. the lowest mobility though. No, bank all three as sixes so that we can stealth our way up and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, because that's right. just, like, that's a, but it's a group check, so. It is. Uh, oh fair. my god. Why can't you roll like this, like, all the time? I don't... I mean, there, there was that one time with the, the nuke. Or that's right. true! <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that's right. That wasn't mobility, though. That was, uh... That was, that was... Uh, com tech. Yeah. yeah. I mean... Alright. Alright, select... so you guys are very, very, very quiet. And hitting the button. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You open the door, and here is what you see. First of all, the, the first thing is that the door does not make a sound when it opens. It slides open with just a, a, like a puff of air and a, a hiss. And you guys are standing quietly at the edge of the doorway. So you don't actually make any noticeable sound that would alert anyone or anything in this room that you're standing there. Even the opening of this door. But that doesn't prevent you from seeing what's inside. Um, what you do see inside this room, and I'll, I'll open that and then we'll go to break, is that this hallway has, is, it looks like it's about 60 feet long. And there are six standing stone covered sarcophagi lining the walls, three on either side. And you see that each of these stone coffins has hieroglyphics, the same that you've seen before, all over their lids. The next thing that you notice is that there are two figures that as the door opens, their back is to you. So they don't even hear or see you. They are too focused on something happening not six or seven feet from them. They're focused on two other figures that are standing in the room, also with their backs to you. One of them is a female, and she has a short bob of uh, blonde hair, and she has her arms crossed. All of these folks, uh, by the way, are packing, so to speak. They're all carrying weapons. Um, you notice that one of these stone sarcophagi, the closest one to you, is actually open. And there is a bluish light that's spilling out from it. That light is surrounding some kind of strange, enormous humanoid figure that you can't really see that well because of the light emanating from this sarcophagus. What's more, there are streams of wires that are somehow hooked into the internals of this sarcophagus and are uh, 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 streaming out to a device attached to the fourth of these figures' heads. This device is planted over this fourth figure, a sort of chubby, rotund, white-haired man who has a, a helmet or a visor. You're not quite sure because it sort of surrounds the top portion of his head. And these wires are streaming forth from the sarcophagus and into this helmet. And he is standing there and he is screaming. No one in the entire room is doing anything to help him. What do you do? 
and that's where we're going to go to break. Well, I want to know what you want to do. I mean, <laughs> my my immediately immediate thought is to get up behind the two with their the closest with their back yeah. to us and try and choke them out from behind. Okay, I'm going to open the door and show you what's inside. Cool. There you go. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, they're right there. Cool. So yes, hey, these two folks are literally four or five feet from you as you are very, very quiet and they cannot hear you. So this one has her back to us? She does have her back to you. Okay. She's looking at the other sarcophagi, the ones that seem to be broken. Uh, okay. This guy, however, you recognize yeah. him from the back, from the front, whatever you want to call it, from his picture. This is Grand Seer Giannis Ruedi. And he has something on him that's causing him intense pain. So tell me what you want to do very quickly, and then we'll go to break. Close combat, choke this guy out. Muzzle suppressor up underneath the back of the helmet. Sounds like a sneak attack to me. Mm-hmm. Winters, Summers, Isaac. Wait, Leveling up uh, the uh, I smoke can, gun. I can... Can I see the, the target? Like, the target? The yeah. Yeah, the yeah you all can. Remember, we're technically see, supposed to take this one alive, y'all. Yeah, because I want to see, yeah. like, if, it, if it's the helmet that's, like, trying to... It's causing the shit. I'm all waiting until, like... Maybe uh, it only affects the eyes. Like, Maybe we should put it on Radio Shack. Oh. Anyways, uh, I'm just waiting for Masters and Colvain to take care of these guys and then see if I can run in to get the... Carefully get the helmet off. Cool. All right. That sounds like all actions that can be done on a sneak attack when we come back. Yes, that's right. So we'll take a quick break, like a five-minute break. How does that sound for you folks? Thank you, five minutes. Cool. All right. We'll come back in five, and hopefully y'all can stay alive. All right. We'll be back in five minutes, folks. Don't go anywhere. More alien RPG. Just a little bit. See you in a bit. All right, here we go. So, let me bring on some appropriate music for you guys to sneak up and do your biz. Yeah. Um, here, I'm going to give you some tense, some tense, uh, super tense music. All right. Tense music isn't sneaky music. Well, this is, this is sneaky shit. When you're, sne- when you're sneaking to hurt someone. This is true. All right. So you guys watch, and, and he's just like, he's grabbing his head, he's screaming, he's like, Aah! Aah! And uh, what do you guys do? I grab the guy in front of me, and I'm basically, ideally, if I magically manage to do enough damage, would just, like, try to, like, unarmed grapple him and break his neck. But at the very least, I'm going to, like, punch him in the windpipe and put my hand over his mouth so he can't scream. All right, so make a... uh, Straight close combat, Make a close combat roll, yeah. All righty. Do I have anything? I don't think I have anything that gives me close combat stuff. It does not. All right, cool. Two successes. Two successes, yeah. Okay. So uh, he doesn't get to block because this is a, a sneak attack. Um, I'm just going to do the one damage, but I'm okay. going to grapple him. And he's grappled. Gonna, he screams. Yes. And uh, when he does so... He screams. I still think I don't manage to get yeah. my hand over his mouth. No, nope. he screams, screams, unfortunately not. Yeah, Those bam, right. he screams. Uh, the other guy sort of turns and flips, but it still gives the others of you uh, enough of a, of, a, of a reaction to do your do your sneak attacks. Does the, does the spin then point his face instead of the back of his neck where I had set it up? No, he's still fine. I'd say it's like in slow-mo, he's like... It's like and we do it simultaneously. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then I'm going to aim as well, so it'll negate the post-combat bonus. Okay. The engaged range penalty, rather. And that's just a straight roll. Two successes. Okay, Good two pay. successes. How much of that do you want as damage? All of it. Okay, he does have it's armor, so round. he's going to he's gonna make a, an attempt to, to block that with armor, so to speak. Not block, but yeah, whatever. Okay, so... Okay, block with a sneak attack? Okay. Uh, well, armor, it's right? It's armor, your armor. Oh, right. And that's armor piercing, so. And no success with that armor roll. Nice. So, all of it into damage, yes? Yep. 
Cool. All right. So, yeah, you, bam, you hit him. Um, that does three damage to him. Um, he is not dead, but he is pissed. And he's like, ah! And he screams in pain. Um, the woman in the on the far side of the room sort of, like, spins after all this, and she just looks, and her face sort of uh, goes wide with shock. Like, she was never expecting this at all. And, and she doesn't say a word, um, but she she throws her gun on the ground. What do the rest of you do? So we still have Summers, we still have Isaac, and we still have Winters. I'm going to run up to um, the guy that uh, Kalevi just shot, and I'm just going to clobber him with my shovel. Go for it. Nice. Two successes. Nice. Two successes. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's three damage total. Okay. Um, so you bonk him on the head after he's been shot through the stomach, mm -hmm. um, and he will. We will roll broken for him to see how well uh, he's been. He's been dealt a, a, a potential uh, killing blow here. Come on, blood for the blood shovel. That's eleven. It's not that okay, great, he's... honestly. I think that's the lowest I can get. Yeah. He's like stunned. Yeah, so he's just like, boom, he's like, Ugh! he loses winded. his turn. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I think at that point I'm gonna, gonna run into the leader guy himself. Okay, you run in. Yeah, excuse me, pardon me. Uh, yeah, seeing this weird mech, like, helmet thing. Mm hmm. Is it possible for me to, like, try to, like, detach it off of his head? You could make a. Oof, man, you have no idea what the hell this thing is. You could make a Comtech roll, but it's going to be with a massive penalty. Because if you just yank the damn thing off, that's would that would just be like a, you know, a strength roll. But if you try to detach it, that's a Comtech roll with a big, big penalty. So you tell me what you want to do. Make your choice. Yo, I think I'll gamble with the Comtech. Okay, that's with a minus five penalty. There goes all my bonuses for Comtech. Oh, radio check. Okay, those were all the marbles. That's Damn it. it. That is, do you push want to push good. it, Isaac? Mm. Yeah. You have 12 total Comtech? I have Sorry. five. You have, you have, five. Yeah. Well, yeah, with I'm, the stress, it's two. So, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. So you have ten total Comtech. Yeah. Nice. That's his, five, that's his five, five wits, five Comtech. Fucking A. I've been investing. I can see that. Yeah! yeah! As you can see. <laughs> okay, cool. So you're able to sort of like figure out like just, oh, shit. Uh, you stress out a little bit, sweat, and you're like, huh. Uh, red wire, blue, red wire, uh, that, that goes to this, this is transceptor, uh, the guy screaming in your face, like, ah, ah, and you're able to, like, figure a way of removing it from his head, and his eyes lock onto yours, Isaac, and they are bloodshot, and they are shriveled, and as you remove the a uh, helmet from his head, there is an enormous electrical feedback. <laughs> and it pulses through the room into the coffin, the sarcophagus. And you hear this sort of like crackling of electricity and you watch as the, the, the sort of humanoid thing in the sarcophagus like does like a, an enormous just spasm of movement like <laughs> and it starts to like just foam at the mouth and you see electrical like uh, uh, blue electrical uh, uh, veins sort of just sh just sh streaking through it and there's an acrid smell of smoke as this being ignites and is now on fire and then you hear woof, 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 and all the other ones ignite in the room. And you hear 
as the things inside of it are ignited and are now immolated. I want everyone here to, number one, take a point of stress, yeah. and number two, roll panic. Did I do a fuck up? Ah! Did anybody roll over a seven? You guys are brilliant. <laughs> Amazing. Calhavi, Isaac, Master, Summers. Oh, Winters is a synthetic. So she doesn't have to. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, everyone's just like, whatever, this is cool. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Not even the weirdest thing I've seen today. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, of all the things. But now there is... Do not enter the room. Yes, no, it doesn't. Hey, uh, but now <laughs> there, uh, player two has entered the game. Uh, you now see this this being uh, sort of come up to its full two and a half meter height. Um, it is on fire. It has sort of a, a, a suit or maybe it's, it's its skin. You're not quite sure of sort of enormous ribs that cover its its flesh. It, and it has a bald Hairless head, black eyes, um, and uh, yeah, here's here, here's what here's what you see. Oh, can you blow yeah. that up? There I sure go. can. Ooh, creepy. It's that, oh, hey, it's a Prometheus. It and then is. can we actually blow it up? You know. And now it's on fire, so it joins whatever comes of what it comes of. Now, of course, we still have uh, Winters, who has not yet made an action. What do you want to do, Winters? Uh, I'm gonna stay where I am, actually. Cool. I like it out here. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's nice. That's cool. It's safe. Perfectly yeah. fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. I, so, with that I, said, can I can I edit that slightly? Yes, you can edit I'm that gonna, absolutely. Get out and just like just look around, just like I, I'm, I'm making sure nothing's coming behind us. Make an observation roll. That'll be your action, I guess. Sure. I can do that. Uh, yeah, you'd sort of take a quick like look around your shoulder. Uh, you don't see anything coming in the direction that you've been thus far. Right. Okay. So, let's stop with this tense shit. Because <laughs> it's not tense anymore. We are full on gonzo crazy bullshit. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Is this rolling initiative? We are on, We are on initiative. So, let's go. Quite. Really? Wait for us to take all the high numbers, except Winters, yay! Yay! Hey. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let roll again. I mean, I'm gonna kind of just hang out where I am, so... Okay. And Blondie's not in the initiative. It seems. She's coming. Give me, give oh, us some no, time. No, the way you said okay, I was like, oh, is she not fighting? Oh no, she's definitely doing something. Okay. Uh, I will have her roll again since she matched with Kulhavi. Okay, I think we're good. Looks like Winters. No, nope, she's matched with me. Damn it! <laughs> I'll make her an 8.5 just because I don't want to fucking have a roll again. There you go. Oh, okay. uh, and of course, our friendly neighborhood giant on fire. Oh, he gets an issue too, does he? Willing to bet he gets two. Get a four. All right. Isaac has a four. Uh, Isaac no, has right. a. 11. He has an 11. But does he? Oh yeah. 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 He rolled twice. He rolled twice. <laughs> oh, he rolled twice. Well, I, I had to roll twice because because you matched with somebody else. Fair. Oh, right. Well, Sorry. No, it didn't really count for my roll initially. Uh. Okay. Cool. All right, Winters, you're up first. What do you want to do? <laughs> I'm gonna stay right here. Okay. That's my turn. Do your turn. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this creature on fire attacks the closest thing to him, and that is Isaac. The soldier guy. Uh, no. That is you. Oh, fuck me. So he will attack. He just slams into you Bodyguard. with his flaming fists. 
Uh, are you sure? I would like to bodyguard. This is my buddy. Okay. Oof. All right. Hold on for one second here. Let me just double check something. I might try doing something good. No good deed, right? <laughs> <coughs> All right. It was going to end this way no matter what. I mean, come not, on. Not in this universe. Okay. Here we go. So this is a 10 base dice attack. Oof. Oh. I get, I, oh. I'm gonna, I am going to try and... Can I push this? You can push a mobility roll. You can push bodyguard, right? Check it. Yeah, I, Check your talent. Because right now, you're not bodyguarding anybody. Yep. Pushing. One. That's a success. That's one of successes enough. So yep. you jump in front. Yeah, jump in front. Throw up a uh, my hands in a block, basically, just to try to protect myself as I'm body blocking for uh, Isaac. Totally fair. All right, ten base dice. Here we go. Ah, oh, balls. Give me one second. Why do why did you want to do this? I it's because it has no character sheet. That's fine. So I'll just roll ten base dice. I'll just roll ten D six. And all the sixes are successes here, folks. One, One success. Wow. Amazing. And let's see what my armor can do. If that is correct. Uh well you can do well Nothing, it seems, unfortunately. Okay. okay, so you will take three damage. Oh. Bam! Okay. This flaming fist... And I want to check to make sure that there's nothing else that comes of it, since he is on fire. Uh... Oh, that cut... Yeah, that's correct, actually, yeah. So he's actually covered with... Well, he's covered with a, a Intensity 9 fire. Now, we've never actually dealt with what mm -hmm. happens when you deal or get close to fire, right? If you touch something with fire, that uh, that causes fire damage, and that slowly goes away and away and away and away. There's fire rules in Alien RPG. Um, uh, either Maeve or Sarah, if you have uh, somewhat Poor close proximity or... to fire. It's probably like a bazillion references to fire in the core fire rules, power. but yeah, it's definitely in core. Range combat. While you're looking at that, I'll just have yep. you, uh, uh, as you said, uh, Summers, you're going to take three damage, you're going to take a point of stress. <clears throat> and that's its turn. We'll get back to the fire in a second. Cole Havy, you're next. What do you want to do? Question for you. Yeah! Found you it. said... These two guys that awesome. Masters and I are engaged with are packed to the teeth with weapons, yeah? Yes, indeedy. In and fact, I'm just going to sort of move you guys a little bit out just yep. so we can see them all. And they're within melee grasping range. Of you? Yeah, sure. They're in, I would say they're, they're in engaged range. How do you feel about John Woo movies? I love them. I would love to quick draw their weapon and underneath the arm of the guy that just got hit use him as a body shield, and start to take out the limbs on Mishka. Take out the limbs, would you I, say? Yeah, subdual, subdual non-lethal, break her, but not kill her so that we can interrogate her. So you can and shoot at her. body shield so that she can, ref yeah. Okay. Even though she's thrown down her gun. Oh, she's already thrown down her gun? I missed that, sorry. Yep. Um, actually, I suppose I could do the same thing to the engineer. You could certainly try. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that to him then, because it's still within the right here range. Yeah, I'm just gonna step forward, take the gun out of the guy that I just surprised, and under his armpit, try and hit the flaming creature over my my friendly bodyguard protection of okay. our team here. Yeah, sure. Um, down that's an interesting move. Quick draw allows you to grab other people's weapons. <laughs> that's no, amazing. I'm asking you if that's an exception that you would allow. I see. I, 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 I mean, you've got a lot of weapons yourself as a as a marine, right? So. But this stepping into using him as a body shield also gives me a meat protection for bullets that come in my direction, rather than standing back and firing on my own. So, because of the nature of quick draw and how close I am to someone I was just firing at back of neck to face range, 
I'm asking permission. Mm -hmm. I will have a backup plan if I can. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do the coward's way out, which is I'm just gonna say let's let the dice decide. <clears throat> because I like the way that you're describing it, but it's also like a giant jank to the rules. <laughs> Absolutely. <fine. laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm just, so. I'm just gonna roll a d2. Uh, one, yes. Two, no, thank you. Okay. There you go. Okay. Then in that case, I am just going to continue to fire on the guy in front of me. Roger that. Uh, so that is just a range combat. So he's an engaged with range. range. Yep, so with the aim, that cancels out the penalty from engaged. Uh, engaged, I think, is minus three. Yeah. Um, Fast action aim is plus two. Hold on. Let me, let me check. Yep. Are you? Are you? Oh, you're right. For the... so, so minus uh, one then, overall. Sorry, say that one more time, okay. Maeve. But yes. Uh, uh, I the nappy leaf. Just. Oh yeah, no, he's got all of his he's got all of his fucking penalties built into his character sheet for sure. <laughs> so with the aim, consuming a fast and a slow action. Yeah. That is just a minus one plus right. the built-in minus one from Napra. Right. So that's a minus two total. <sighs> that is still two successes. Okay. Amazing! Amazing. Panic seduce. Cool. So you shoot him point blank. Ba Bam! And I am going to use the second, rather than do extra damage to the guy who's already on fire, I'm going to swap initiatives with him. Here's a question. Are you not using your weapons in your character sheet? Oh, shoot. No, I was just doing the range You're attack. You're just doing the ranged attack. attack. But I'll accept it. Just give me what the base damage is. Totally fine. Yeah, so no worries. Yep, yeah, so we'll, we'll keep this, uh, the two successes two. from before. So base two, so that's a total of three damage. Now, you did roll panic, which means, yep. on your shot, which means you empty the clip. Mm -hmm. You will have to reload next turn. I got it right. Yay, internet. I got it fucking right once. Yay. I got your fire rules for you. Solid. Hit me with some with some fire right. rules there, Sarah. So, fire measured in intensity. So, when exposed to fire, roll a number of base dice equal to the intensity for every success roll. Do suffer one point of damage. Armor can protect you. Mm. If you take damage, you catch fire and continue to burn and suffer another attack at the start of each new round. The intensity increases by one each round. Ooh, as damn. As soon as a fire in attack inflicts no damage, the fire goes out by itself. Okay. You or a friend at engaged range can put out the fire with a successful mobility roll as a slow action. So I'm hearing Summers is on fire. So Summers, well, Summers needs to roll nine base dice and will only be on fire if they roll, if she rolls successes. Okay, Summers. And there's also rules for brokenness, but we'll get there if, if we have to. All right, don't roll I'm successes. At, don't I'm be on nine. fire. We'll see. Nine base, roll nine base dice. I'm, I mean, I'm at initiative nine, so it's not me. Oh, no, 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 no. you, you roll you know, now because you hit you. Know, when you yeah. got hit, yeah. Oh, okay. So, fire doesn't care about initiative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then the ensuing damage, if you do catch fire, yeah. starts at the top of the round, not on your turn. Sounds like what Smokey the Bear would say. Fire doesn't care about initiative. Boom! Not Amazing! On fire. Look at yeah. that! Amazing! I'm, I'm just standing there, and like the fire just washes off of me. <laughs> Love it! Love it! Amazing! All right, so no fire. He's huh. going super summers. <gasps> <laughs> Cool. All right. So we are done with Kulhavi's turn. He has shot, and it is now uh, the baddies. Yeah, the, the the firstborn, shall we call them? This one is grappled. He is grappled, but the other one has been shot and has been whacked in the head. Why am I? Okay. He loses his turn. Yeah. He does lose his turn, so the other one does not. Because he was winded. Wait, Eleven was winded or stunned? Winded. What was the effect of that? Let's check. It doesn't say. In if, the chart, at least. Let's 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 check it. Here we go. Panic rolls. Winded. No, that's your panic roll. Sorry, I meant to say broken rolls. Oh, bro yeah, broken. Broken eleven is winded, and that is the only. Yeah, there's no effect. Word. It just says winded affects none. Okay. So there's no effect. So he's just like he's like. <laughs> okay, and then uh, boom, <laughs> comes right back at you. All right, so both of these guys are gonna shoot then. Well, can this guy shoot while grappled? Why not? You can strike. Okay. You can. You can. If you can swing a wrench, you can swing a sword. You can. Sw you can I mean, shoot. I mean, I guess gun. he can't shoot me because I'm behind him and grappling him. Yeah, he'll just, you know, shoot whoever's near him, who happens okay. to be, oh, I don't know, Summers. 
Man. Okay, so uh, Summers, the first shot <clears throat> will be from the one who's being grappled to you at uh, engaged range, so that's a minus three penalty. All right. Here it comes. Oh! Misses you. Yes. Second one, uh, who is right behind Colhavy, uh, will also take a shot. This one, again, at Colhavy, since you tried to shoot him and missed. Uh, and yeah, with also a minus oh, three. Hit. Oh, uh, sorry. No, you hit the you hit the engineer. I think we swapped initiatives. If you were. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. My bad. Yeah, that's right. You did hit, and uh, okay, cool. So yeah, he'll just he'll shoot you back. I'll shoot you back. <laughs> also missing. Nice. And that's too close, there. Too close. too close. Too close. Uh, I would like you to turn over to that guy and just say, wait your damn turn. <laughs> Fire doesn't wait for... In, no, never mind, that was bad. All right, here we go. Master's your turn. All right, I'm looking really quickly to see if the fact that I'm grappling this guy gives me any advantages on him. I think it's just his speed. He can't move. Grappling. See, grappling below. <laughs> do, 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 grappling... Mm -hmm. Oh, he would have dropped any weapon he was holding and can't move, so he actually wouldn't have made a shot. Okay, well. The only action they can perform is an attempt to break free. Cool. Which is a slow action that succeeds at the... So he didn't try to break free. Unless you want to retcon that and say he tried to break free from me. No, I made the mistake. So, you know what I'm going to do instead? Is I'm going to have him... Because he doesn't have just the one weapon. He also mm -hmm. has a, a close combat weapon, which I can have him swing at you, if that's okay. I, I think mean, that's I'm, fair. I'm on top of him, got him pinned to the ground. It said the only... So it says the only action that you can take when you are grappled is an attempt to break free. Okay. The only action we can perform is an attempt to break free, which is a slow action that succeeds if the opponent wins an opposed close combat roll against Perfect. Him. Let's do it. Close combat. All right. So. You do yours, and I'll do mine. So many windows open. Damn. Four successes. Yeah, you are ridiculously strong. I am. Close combat is my strongest skill. Nope. Not enough. He's still pinned to the ground. All right, cool. All right, and so now it's my turn, and the only is. thing I can do is a grapple attack, which is a close combat attack. So mm -hmm. here we go again. Okay. Only one success that time. All right, so, so he's gonna damage. he's gonna try to block that then. Okay. I don't know. If, I guess he can try. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how not? it works. Close combat versus close combat. You can still block while you're on the ground. Nope, doesn't block that one. Yeah. Are, you, are you rolling out the engineer or the, or the, uh, the soldier? Oh, they're called firstborn. Okay. They are cool. called the firstborn. That is correct. Okay, cool. Then that is my turn. I'm just I'm keeping this guy pinned. Keeping him down, so you don't actually do keeping any damage down. to him. You're just no, I do. No, I do. The, that was a grapple attack. Okay. So, it's a, a, so how much a normal damage? Normal unarmed attack that is a fast act. Oh, there we go. This works as a normal unarmed attack, but is a fast action and cannot be blocked. I'm oh, sure it can't be blocked. Can't be blocked. I'm assuming unarmed just do once. Yeah, it sounds about right. All right, so he's he's getting beaten. He's he's not looking so great. Um. All right. So is that your turn? That is my turn. Cool, cool, he cool. Um, the the, uh, the woman with the blonde hair in the back sort of um, seeing the giant mess uh, that has just been unleashed, shall we say, from the removal of this helmet. Um, she sort of like runs to, runs throughout the hallway, like of, of, of all these like things inside the uh, sarcophagi that are just pounding and that are on fire. Um, and she's like, no, 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 no. And then um, she looks at you and she just runs to the back of the hall where there is a door. Help. And she pushes the squeegee little egg thing and the door opens. And then she runs into the next room. And the door closes behind her. That is her turn. Summers, it's yours. Okay. Going to uh, level my smart gun. Um, how many... Okay, how many people am I engaging with right now? When you say people, you mean baddies? Just baddies in general, yeah. Four. Four. Okay. If you count Giannis Ruetti as a baddie. Right. Um, I just want to... Oh, boy. Because I just had a 
thought I had a thought, but then he's on fire. That's probably not going to do much. Uh, I don't know if I can make him more on fire. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just going to aim and um, I'm going to go full auto on this whole mess that's right around here. Okay. Now, do you have the ability to sweep and not hit any of your 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 buddies there? I'm on the ground, so yeah. I mean, I'll uh, yeah, that. I'm on I'm on the ground. Um, Kolevi seems to be beat around that door as long as doors open. Doors the doors open. Okay. Because mm -hmm. my my idea is that basically I'm, I'm using the uh, smart gun thing to set the soldier and the soldiers and the uh, burning guy. Yeah, I mean. But, what you could probably do is hit this guy. Kalevi, if you just back up for one second, I just want us to show the, uh, the interior of the room. There we go, perfect. Yeah. So, like, if you if you ping this guy, and then this guy, and then the engineer, like, you'd hit Kalevi. Because the arc of your... And you hit me, your... too, because I'm literally right. pinning okay. exactly. the ground. So if you okay. went just with a small, a small full auto of this one, plus yeah. the engineer, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Besides, the uh, big guy's my concern. Um... I'm, yeah, full auto, aim. Let's see. Full auto gives me also a plus two, I believe. Uh, full auto does give you a plus two, that's correct. Yeah. Not heavy weapons. Excellent, okay. So... But you take a stress, I believe, if you go full auto. I don't, because I'm a machine gunner. That's right! Amazing! Um, okay, so four, I'm in engage range, so it takes away three, right? Correct. So it's a plus one overall. Two success. Amazing. Um, let's see. What is the order like? The guy's at four. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um... Yeah, actually, I'm just going to hit them both. Okay. For uh, three damage. Super. All right. Uh, let's see how well armor does versus your full auto armor piercing fucking smart gun with this guy. Mm hmm and then we'll go on to the engineer. He is not looking too good, and he has not that much armor. So let's do it. Here it comes. That's a zero success. How much damage do you want to do this guy? Uh, he gets a full three. So um, he is. I, I think it's. I think it's instances of three per. Sure. So he's he's broken completely again. Actually, this one was broken before. So now this one is now also broken. I'm a, a, like I said, I'm gonna uh, use broken rules for these guys because they're sort of more elite than the average. Uh, I haven't broken child. this guy. It's no. this guy who was broken. Yeah, I I clocked him with the shovel. Oh, uh, then he goes up. Okay, my bad. I thought it was the other guy. I should mark them with something that says they were broken, just so I know. That's fine. All right, so here we go. Let's figure out what they get from their broken roll D66. That's a whole oh, shit. <laughs> oh boy. That's, That's not, not good. good. A right. ruptured jugular. Oh yeah, he's. I, I think he's pretty fucking dead with that he's shot. He's gonna die in one round. Yep. Yeah. So he's dying. <laughs> I'll put a uh, a big like red shaped mark on him that indicates he's going to fucking die. Um. Yeah, just put a red a red circle on him. He, he's gonna die. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's also roll for our friendly engineer uh, who is armored and he has this and he's on fire mm -hmm. um, so he gets a and I don't have the character sheet for him but that's okay because I'll just roll however many dice he has good old friend engineer yeah alright so he rolls This is this is a armor piercing weapon, so he doesn't roll full. He rolls half of his uh, of his armor. Here we go. So oh, yeah, oh, he succeeds on none of them. So he takes all three damage, correct? Yeah. Cool. All right. So you see him go. He's on fire. He's uttering some strange guttural language, um, and he's in pain. He's on fire and he's in pain. And, yeah. He's having a bad And morning. he's hysterical. Okay. Uh, that's it, Summers. Yeah? I just want to position myself so that um, I still, I imagine I'm still in engaged range. Oh, yeah. Positioning such that the soldier or Ruedi is closer to him than me. Okay. Works for me. But Isaac gets to still stay behind me. <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah. Okay. Grand Seer Giannis Ruedi. 
uh, who up until this point in time has not really done very much except try to shoot and scream. Um, yeah, he will uh, take out a pocket knife oh. and just go to town uh, at uh, on you, Isaac. Yeah. <clears throat> He's just going to scream and just, you know, psycho stab into you. Oh, oh man, am I... I'm not going to bodyguard I, this. I wonder if he'll succeed where Isaac failed. You ready? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Uh. That's a success. One damage. That Unless armor. You, you have armor. armor. Yeah, roll for that armor. Be through armor. That's oh, zero ah. successes on that armor. So, shink, it goes right into uh, uh, your chest. And you're like, ah! You scream. Oh. Um, and take a stress point as well. So now you're at five stress. Down to three health. I have to meet you heroes. <laughs> Stick yeah. around. Uh, and yeah, he's just, he's like, he, he's, he's like muttering, uh, just incoherently, uh, and screaming at the same time as he, as he brandishes his, his knife again. That is his turn. Isaac, it is now your turn. Oh, I'm sorry. I beg your pardon. He's sort of like... He looks over at the, the flaming form of the engineer, and he's like, No! No, my angel! No! And he, he like, um, he, he looks like he doesn't want to be anywhere near this thing, so he maneuvers around to the other side of Isaac. It's now your turn, Isaac. Stun him up. You know what? <laughs> Fuck, I'll try to, like, make a grapple for the leader guy himself as well. Cool. Or That's at least, is it possible for me to disarm him? Uh, I think you have to... I mean, when you when you grapple someone, they drop their weapon, as, as Sarah stated. Oh, okay, okay. So that is a man. close combat Grapp roll. Well, right? grappling is a stunt on a close combat roll. That's a good oh, point. Okay. That's a good point. So you don't have the stunt? No, it's a stunt. You have to uh, roll sorry, roll my fault. I thought you meant talent. You extra, I thought you meant talent. You have to roll an extra success. Correct, right. So, Basically. close combat, is it, it's opposed close combat, correct? Well, no, you just roll, well, I mean, if he's blocking, it's opposed. Correct, well, exactly. Roll a close yeah. combat. If and you get two successes, then you can use one of them as a stunt to grapple. There you go. Isaac, what do you want to do? Hey, Hi. don't Roll panic. that panic. Okay. Woo. Keep it together. Amazing. Okay. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm grappling. I'm okay, grappling. so he's gonna try to block that. How many successes did you get? Three. Uh, two. Two. Okay. Okay. One. That is not enough. So you have grappled him, and he drops his knife. And he takes. Oh, sorry. Damage. Well, well, actually. Yeah, because it's one, because you, you got two successes. So he drops his knife, and he takes a point of damage. Well, do you want to make him drop his knife, or do you want to grapple him? Good point. Uh, fuck. Uh, so you can disarm him, or so, you can keep him where he is. Sorry, I introduced this terribly complicated <laughs> So yeah. So if you grapple your opponent as a stunt in close combat, both you and your opponent fall to the ground. The opponent drops any weapon they were holding and cannot move. So you can grapple him, and he will drop his knife. But you will Grapple. both be on the ground. You're both going to be prone. Yeah, yeah, I'm that. fucking... I think it made more sense if I, like, grapple him, yeah, like... Okay, so he'll still have the knife, or no? No, he, no, no the he, kni he drops. He, he drops, he drops the, knife the knife and grab. Both of you are on the ground, and he is pinned down by you and cannot move. The only action he can perform on his next turn is an attempt to break free, which is a slow action, and mm -hmm. is an opposed close combat. Run. Cool beans. All right, Winters, it is now your turn. Ah. Uh. Uh, can I fire through allies? Uh, they, if you are attempting to shoot a target, that's basically firing into melee, so that gives you a penalty. I'm on the ground, so you won't be. Sh I'm, you'd be shooting over me and anybody, I was except for my. Because I can see the engineer from out here. Sure can. Uh, just barely, just in doorway. Uh, you, you can also like aim as well. That'll give you a plus two, but if you're okay. firing into melee. Or plus with minus one. That's I believe it's a minus one as well, yeah. That. Let's do it. I'm calling it as I see it. 
if I make a rule mistake, who gives a fuck? Let's go. So I should roll range combat then? So do you, you have a weapon. You can I use do. the weapon, right? And then it'll ask you for the the, the modifier. Right? Eh. So if you're going to aim, that's plus two. And then firing into melee, so just that's one. minus one. So just be a plus one. Nice. Okay. So that is a success. You're shooting at the engineer, correct? Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. So I'm assuming with that, he's going to make an armor roll. And that is not armor piercing. So he's going to no, it's not. go ahead and just make that same armor roll. Except this time, it'll be 86. Oh. And you just watch as the as the shot goes. And he looks down as he's on fire. And he's just like, looks up at you. Eyes just locked on you. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just gonna kind of move a little bit away from here, around that corner. Right on, right on. <laughs> that's that's my turn. Cool. I like it out here. Okay. Um, right on. It is now uh Mr. Fiery. Um, point of order. Yeah. When my attack went through last time, were you counting the singular or the double? Because I know we screwed up with the, the ranged weapon. The double. Okay, so I had used that to swap initiatives with the engineer and specify. Oh, you did? Yes, yeah, I didn't have for damage. Okay, so then fire. that's fine. So he, so then you would go first. Just making sure. I will make you four, and I will make him five. You are first, Colheavy. And just so I understand this right, I'm still bear hug an arm underneath, and Masters is grappling the other... On the ground. That seems point. like the case, yeah. And your guy and is literally choked, bleeding out of his throat. Yeah, like he's gonna yeah. die in covered in blood on me. Yeah. Um <laughs> gonna I'm gonna uh quick draw. I'm gonna I'm gonna sling my uh, assault rifle and I'm just gonna use my new mechanical arm with the machine gun and just Jesus. in that same position pour bullets into the engineer. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing. Modifier. And this is uh would would you say that Summers is is considered like the close combat, or is this engaged range, or no? Are you shooting directly at the engineer? Yeah. Summers fire. is nowhere in the way. Great. Cool. Then in that case, if there's no engaged combat on him, because I'm not firing the guy I'm actually engaged with, that is just a uh, aim and fire. Plus one. With aim and fire. Penalties. For, that's correct. Plus one. With all of the different penalties that you have. Unfortunately, like okay. So push the roll. Oh, did you? Oh, so you didn't. You didn't reload the other gun. So you're using a different gun. Got it. Correct. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got That's it. why I specified quick draw. I'm with you. Yep. Um, push it and go. Nice. There you go. That is how I wanted to do it. Super duper. <laughs> now I'd like to pour it all into damage. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's two, three, four damage. Armor, Armor piercing. piercing. Nice. And yes, I did label it Go-Go Gadget Gun Arm. I love it. Love it. I mean, I named my RPG Bex oh. Betsy. None of those are oh, successes. So, and you shoot him and he's like, he's pissed off. How the fuck is he still up? Um, that's all I got. How much dancing. damage was that? That was uh, that was four. Th four damage. It's supposed to be four damage. Yep. Yeah, that's fair. He's taken already. He's taken, I believe, four plus two plus one. He's taken seven damage. Me. Plus two plus one plus one. Well, if I can right. get this other guard taken care of, we can all retreat, and I can just unload on him with Betsy. Be my guest. <laughs> In short range. No, we would move backwards. Oh, of course. I said if I can get rid of this guard, we can all back up. And I can shoot at him with this. What about Ruetti? We would drag him with us. Oh, of course. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, if there's nothing else, go heavy. Let's move on to the engineer. Boy. Okay, the engineer is on fire. So remind me about the fire rules. It's anything he attacks gets have to roll that fire, correct? It's not like if you touch something, it immediately has to... Well, it says if you're exposed to fire, so I guess that, like, that's DM discretion, I would say. I'm gonna say this. Um, he has been staring the whole time at Winters since Winters shot him. So didn't everyone. <laughs> and so he runs through 
all of these folks to get to you. I'm technically on top of this. You are. I will allow... I mean, I... Just to say. So, number one, he immolates this guy who's choking out from his jugular. He's on fire. He just explodes. He's dead. I'm just gonna put a big old X over him. Because you don't need to worry about him anymore. He screams, grabs his head, and uh, is on fire. Um, he does, unfortunately, touch because of his enormous girth, um, the following people. He touches Summers, and he touches Kulhavi, and he does touch uh, you, Masters, as well as the person that you are on top of. So he's just running, and he's on fire, and he just carves a path through all of you to get to Winters. So, so we all roll nine base dice to find correct. out if we're on fire or not. Okay. That is correct. That's a big what? guy. <laughs> oh man, he is pissed. Oop. So you're on fire, Summers. Kolhavi, you're on fire. I'm looking, oh, they, okay, that's how this works. So that is, roll nine. And uh, armor can protect. Armor can protect, according to what I'm gonna roll armor. Okay, this is where it is now. <clears throat> I soak one, so I'm down to two. That is correct. One I'm damage, down to rolling my armor. One I, damage to I masters. Want no damage to masters because my armor negated it. Superb. Colhavy takes damage the armor. Colhavy takes one damage. So remember, guys, when you take damage, you have to increase your stress by one. And also, you two are both now on fire at the top of the next round. <laughs> you will take base 10. You'll roll base 10. That's correct. Because it goes up. Fire unless increases. You make, <clears throat> unless you make and a little bit check yeah, to put so up take fire. a hit point down as well. Say that again. Take a hit point as well, yeah. Yes. I mean, yes. you take yep. a hit point and increase stress. All right. And then you he makes... or an ally can make a mobility check to put the fire out as well. Just as a... Fire. Right. So it, it's as not as just well, yourself. Right. Okay. Engineer comes in with a big old swing and punch against you, Winters. Base 10 damage. Or base 10 dice. Again, because I do not have the character sheet. This looks for sixes here. Here we go. Two hits. Huh. Two hits on you. Get the armor. We got you. I... He has some armor, but not marine armor. I should have used my shields. Uh, there's no modifiers, right? Just straight. That's correct. Just straight arm. Straight armor. Oh, no. Because it's two damage. You don't take stress, obviously, because you are a synthetic, but you go down from four to two health. Oof. Big punch. Boof. You watch as her feet come off the ground, and she whoosh, hits against the side of the uh, of the cavern and leaves like a white stain there and swoosh, falls uh, down to the ground slowly. And he sort of looks, he's still on fire. Like, it's like the fire isn't even really, like, hurting him that much anymore. His skin is crisping from a white to, like, a dark grayish black. Um, but he's still bleeding. He's still, he's still in a lot of pain. But as he looks at the material that you've left behind on the wall, he has this sort of strange, quizzical look on his face. And then he lifts his foot like he's going to stomp you. Firstborn, there's only one left. Oh, did you roll for him for the fire? Uh, no, but I can't do that now. He's at fire ten now, so. Well, no, because you didn't roll for him for the nine. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'll roll for the I'll roll for the nine and for the ten. So nine. Well, he doesn't roll the ten until the top of the next round. I, I'll just do it. Um, I'll do it for the for the first round that I didn't do it. Yeah. So this is that. So he gets three damage oh. off of the first one, and then it increases. But it's only been, it's only been one round. It just happened. No, no, no. Yeah. The first round was the nine, and then the second round, which was I know, this but round. Saying, we're still in the same round because it just happened. The guy just ran past him. It's not the top of the next round yet. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Which are you talking about? You're talking about the engineer. No, yes. no, no. The uh, guy on the ground. I'm right? sorry. I thought you were talking about yeah. the engineer. <laughs> I'm talking about no. When the engineer. Yeah. When the, went when past the, the guy. Engineer yes. Went past this yeah. guy. Yeah. You didn't roll his to see if he fair. got fair. Absolutely damage. fair. So he did get damage. He got three damage, and that actually, unless he can do a really great armor roll, this may kill him. Okay. Uh, that is two damage. 
with that armor roll, and that kills him. He screams, he rolls around on the ground, he clutches at his neck, he's on fire. Uh, many of you are in the room, and he just stops moving. I'm not even gonna roll really, for broken form anymore. I had a fun plan for him too. Oh well. Well. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the first one are dead. Masters, it's your turn. Standing up from prone is. I gotta look at that. From after grappling is a. I think it's a fast action to stand up from the ground. So my fast action will be to get off the ground. Good. And then, I'm like, hmm, eeny, meeny, miny, Ruetti's not really doing much damage. I'm gonna just step over here where I can see this guy. You step out of the cavern and you see that Winters is on the ground, slumped next to this giant on fire, and there is white fluid leaking out of her mouth, out of her hair, and there's an enormous streak of white down the wall. Okay, what the fuck ever. Hey, ass butt. And ass butt. <laughs> it's a supernatural reference. I couldn't help myself. Uh, I am going to shoot at this guy with my assault rifle. I'm going to oh, push nice. that roll. I want more damage. It's a real good. Okay, didn't help. I could double push it, but I don't think I need to. You have a special that talent that allows you to double push, right? I have a special talent that lets me double push, but you know what? I feel like this is a dice telling me to stop. So I'm gonna stop and just give him two damage, armor piercing. Okay, armor roll. Nice. No successes, so that's two, right. two more damage. Two Two more damage. Shout. He, he is. Winters, he is, get the fuck out of there! He staggers. He puts a foot, the foot that he was going to place on Winters' throat, he instead uses to steady himself on the ground. And he's just leaking. Like all this, whatever. It's sort of like a clear liquid on the ground. Damn, so I'm, so I'm just going to shout. Winters, get the fuck out of there so we can blast him! Hey Matt, just a quick thing. If you're rolling armor, is it usually supposed to be D8 or D6? D6. Did I roll a D8? Yeah, you rolled D8. My God! Well, that. Let's see if that worked. You're right. I rolled a four. I've not, I'm, I been used realize. to. Let me try it again. One success. Oh, fine. It mitigates one damage. It's not a big deal. Okay. There you go. He's still not looking great. Yeah, I just, Thank you for that. Wasn't, if he wasn't on fire, I'd go close combat his ass. But he's on fire. He's on fire. Uh, end of turn. Mishka does something. You're not quite sure where she is. I'm just going to remove her from the turn order. Summers. Okay. Um, oh. I'm going to use a mobility roll to put myself out. Okay. Solid plan. Good idea. <laughs> I'm at Stop one HP. Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Okay. That's a that's, mobility roll. It has a panic. It has a panic on it. So roll your... Okay. Woo! Nice. So you put yourself out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do a. I just dive into a roll, and I want to check my fast actions real quick. Stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Um. Aim just applies to the next roll that I that I make for a uh, range attack, right? Say that again one more time. So aim just applies to the next uh, attack I'm Correct, yes. So if you hold the aim, the next round you'll be able to get the shot off with a plus two. Okay, cool. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, run, walk over here next to Masters, and I'm going to aim. Cool. Love it. All right. Giannis Ruetti. Underneath Isaac. <laughs> he's just like struggling. He's squirming. He has no knife. He's just like, ah! And he just, he he's going to grab. He's just going to try to scratch at you. All he can do is try to break free. Well, yeah. He's grappled. Then fuck it. He just tries to break free. I was trying for some for some uh, crazy bullshit, but it didn't work out. Thanks for ruining my fun, Sarah. Sorry, I'll stop rules. <laughs> no, that's around. fine. That's fine. Stop. Close I'm combat roll, right? Yes. Boop. Mm. Mm. Um. Hmm. 
That's a that's a negative. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's still on the ground. He's screaming. He's gibbering. He's doing nothing. That's all he can do. <laughs> all right, Isaac. Can I roll to pin? Say what? <laughs> no. Can you roll to pin? I mean, you're on top of him. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like yeah, you still I... have him grappled because he didn't break free. Yeah. And then yeah. The, and the engineer slides out and does the, the three count. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. <laughs> <laughs> he kips up. Think... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Like... I got him grapple and everything. I'm just wondering what else I can do. Oh, here, though. you can you can grapple attack him. You yeah. can do grapple attacking is a fast action that can't be blocked, so you can technically close combat him twice. Tech. Like a headbutt. Sure. <laughs> got a big old head. Grind, big target. Grind his face into the pavement. I had so many ideas, and then my guy died by fire. I'm not trying to outright kill him, but you no, know, yeah, I'm gonna try to like sedate. Yeah. Or seduce. Either one. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna head, I'm gonna... <laughs> right, headbutt him. <laughs> headbutt, go for it. Close combat. Close combat. Uh oh. Oh, oh. no. Roll the panic. Oh, nerves oh. twitch. Stress level goes up. Stress level of everybody else goes up. Well, we both fell, so. Mm. Does yep. our stress level go up if we can't see him? It says yeah, all friendly PCs in short range. It has nothing to do with sight. Okay, so I did just ask. Him. He's he's he's. Uh, let's just say, let's just let's call it like he's he instead of twitching because you know like the the physical thing is like oh I'm seeing him twitch and then therefore, you know your stress would go from just seeing him. Instead, I think it's the whole stress of the situation is just leaking out. Fair. Cool. Stress is stressy. All right. Anything else, Isaac? Get away from him, you bitch. Nice. <laughs> That's like the one time I got to go, like, do a ridiculous close combat. Thing. That's true. You did. With the fucking, the prom dress. Yep. Amazing. All right, Winters. What, what, what do you got up your sleeve? Uh, well, not a lot. Retreat? Unfortunately. Um, yeah, I can, I can run away, right? Oh, wait a second. I forgot to ask something. When he hits her, she's technically on fire, though, right? Well, she, she has to roll the nine base dice. To That's fine. Okay, but it's not then that she rolls it. It's on her turn, correct? No, it's at that point. Oh, did she roll the nine base dice? I don't I think so. I did not. Can you roll the nine base dice now? I'll call it. Yeah, cool. I can do that. Yeah. Uh, base. Nine. Yeah. Any successes mean you're on fire for that many dice. Okay, so I, I have nine as a click down menu, but how do I get it to roll? Uh, there's a roll button, like two over. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, it took me a minute, too. Okay, so you take one armor, point. Armor can negate. But you do get to negate it with armor if you have it. One point and you'll uh, negate it. Uh, let's see if my armor wants to actually behave for once. Let's go, armor! Yes! yes! Yay! Uh, so you like, a little bit of like flame creeps up your arm and you're like, ah! and you pat it out. So you're not on fire. What do you want to do? Okay, uh, well, um, I want to get away from him, but... I you don't can know which way to run. You, you can retreat. Uh, I can retreat? Yeah. Uh, you make a mobility roll to get away from him without getting That is exactly right. All right. Well, let's, uh... Can I take out my, um... Would the, would the mobility roll be faster slow action? I believe it's a fast action. I just had it open. Retreat is a fast action. Okay. Can I equip my shields? Uh... I think that's a slow action. Equipping a equipping a weapon is a slow action, yes. Great. Or armor. I'd like to Yeah, I'm gonna gonna equip my I'm gonna fucking grab my shield and Pull the, just try to fucking book it. The riot shield and be like, fuck to so make an um, make a mobility roll and see if you get away. You you nice. get away and you can stunt that too. What are my options for stunts? For mobility stunts, sure. One second. There you go. Those are your mobility stunts. Give a success to another PC. Gave a plus one to a later skill role relating, or you impress someone. I don't think you'll be impressing the engineer. I'm going to, uh... I'm just gonna sort of, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the impress one, and I'm gonna, like, dive underneath the engineer's legs and slide on the shield. 
Okay. <laughs> so you're going the opposite direction. You're not going backwards. You're going oh, that I'm way. Go, yeah, I mean, I'll, you're I'll going go forward to retreat. I was Are gonna you going to go under friends. his legs and then run up the stairs? I was going to retreat behind you guys, but I mean, he yeah. went through all, all of you guys last time, so that's probably not a good idea. Uh, well, because that we've the doctor or the guy we need and the Mishka chick are both in here. You're not sure what the, the Mishka chick the is. The civvy is the other way. Oh, her, the doctor. Gotcha. I mean, you do you. How far can I get away? Uh, you can move one zone, which is anything within the Those blue boundaries, weird. by yourself. Right now. So anywhere within this area, between like here and here, is a zone. So you can move within that zone, right? Without having okay. to make an action to move to a separate zone. But if I want to like move up here, oh, that's two zones. Oh, that's two zones, yeah. Eesh. Uh, I'm better off going back towards my friends then. I'm not going to get fair. very far the other way. Fair, fair, fair. Absolutely. So yeah, I'm going to... I like this room where you guys are. Cool. That seems like a good idea. I'm just gonna run through this fucking doorway. Just, okay. Just leaking everywhere. Uh, I, I like it here. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, good stuff. We are on to Colhavy. Colhavy, you were on fire the last we checked, I think, right? Yeah, slow action to put myself out. Mobility, please. I'll sort of throw myself here, stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. Oh wait, if this is the top of the round, before that he technically needs to do the 10 base dice. That's what. I, that's what. Oh, that's right. Because it's it's it, it happens before you get to pull. That's right. So okay. as yeah, that, that's a, it's a fair point because okay. you're on fire. So roll your ten base and see how much damage you take before you get to pull yourself. Put yourself out. One more damage. Another point of stress. Do I get to roll armor against that? Yes, of course. Yeah. Perfect. So no damage. Um, oh, that actually means the fire. And that means the fire is, out, the fire is out. out. Exactly. Yeah. So you, so, don't have to, uh, you don't need action. to do anything. Great. Uh, then slow action. I'm gonna reload. And cool. Then, uh, so you dump out the ex uh, the empty cartridge yep. from your sniper rifle. Um, Snap another one in. I am going to move in this direction and start hunting Mishka. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to my fast action then. Makes sense. Great. So you're way point. over there now. Like yeah. Zoom out so everyone can see. Got it. Cool beans. Yep. Summers, I don't know which one of it's going to be, but it's <clears throat> nice knowing you. Oh, boy. Okay. Here's what happens. It's now the engineer's turn. The engineer's skin is black from just absolute immolation. And he screams, his eyes <laughs> burst and he just screams and you see his teeth have been blackened by this fire and he just he just uh, and he runs in the opposite direction towards the river he moves one two all the way and i'm going to open up the i'm going to open up the map with uh, dynamic lighting so that you guys can see what happens Wait one second. Camera view, by the way. Boom. This may this may cause things to be a little crazy, uh, but there we go. So now you guys can see, hopefully, what happens. The engineer's way over here. We can't see it from inside the hall. Right? From inside the hall, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean you can sort of like peek out if you want. It's up to you. Uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. The engineer runs towards the sound of the raging waterfall and jumps in just dives and as he does so he just goes over the edge and his screams are eclipsed by the intense sound of water and you do not see him again Masters, what do you want to do? Damn it, I had perfect range for an RPG shot, but instead, I'm gonna come back up here. 
And uh, we need this guy alive, but we don't need him conscious, so I'm gonna punch him in the face. Okie dokie! Punch away. What? Man, my close combats are not with. Alright, one damage. Punch in the face. Okay. Uh, can he. Yeah, he can still block that. He can block that, yeah. Yeah. I'll try. He's not so good at this, though. Nope. Uh, that breaks him. Bam! That's oh. the, that's the fourth damage to him. So uh, well, we're not trying to kill him. So. No, of course not. Yeah. That was you that's, said. That was a, a debilitating strike. That's why I punched him in the face, as opposed to like stabbing him with my knife. He is broken, and therefore, because you didn't do anything that would have caused, you know, critical Lost injury. Limbs. Exactly. I'm not going to roll on the critical injuries table. He is knocked out. Masters, that is your turn. Um, and then I'm gonna. We're still chasing Mishka, so I'm gonna move up here with Mac to start figuring out where the fuck she went. Cool paints. Hey. And yes, that is at the end of my turn. All right, Summers, you're still out in the cavern. You just yeah. watched this giant topple over the edge. It is at that point that I'd like you to make an observation. Oh, oh, lovely. One success. You are such a lucky duck that you made that observation roll. Here's what you see. Oh. Uh, just in your line of sight, you see this blonde woman run out onto this promontory. Mm -hmm. She runs to the altar. So you, you can go ahead and switch your, your view so that you can see the altar. Yeah. She turns around, she sees you, she runs over to the altar and she kneels down, she performs something, some kind of action, some kind of movement, and then she turns back to you, Is it nods. Do in this time? You can take a shot if you want. I am taking a shot. I've already aimed, actually. Oh, right, um, you did. What range is she at? She is at medium range, because she okay. is two zones away. So I think that's a standard, uh, yeah. She's not at short range, she's at medium range. Actually, well, that would be a m medium range. Yeah, standard, because short range is minus one. Okay. Um, yeah, I am going to fire with plus two. All right. Oh. So you empty the whole fucking canister. I keep it together. You keep it yeah, together. Canister. And yeah. you... Uh, uh, but, I am dumping everything into damage. Okay. She does have armor. One, two, three, four, five damage. Plus three. Six damage. So let's see how much she negates. Piercing, though. It is armor piercing. Correct. Mm -hmm. Oops. Well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so it'll be the top three, which is the one of those. Oh, damn. <laughs> three, four, five, six. So oh, shit. Okay, so you hit her. <laughs> yeah. You hit her. Um, white fluid. It just riddles her. Oh. And she's just like. Ah, 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 and. She dives off the edge into the waterfall. And you do not see her anymore. What happens from there on out? You don't know. You just hear someone shout, Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Blondie went off the edge. She did, Fuck. did something at the altar before she did that, though. Did something at the altar. Double fuck. That is your turn, Summers, am I correct? Yeah. All right, let's move on. Uh, Ruetti is knocked out. Isaac, your turn. I think at that point I'm just gonna get up. Yeah, finally. Look around real quick. Like, how's our situation so far? The asset has been subdued. Ooh. I think I'm be a bleeding good everywhere right next to you. <laughs> Cool, I think that'll be a good time to like, start carrying this guy. Like, over the shoulder, at least. 
Okay. You grab him. Make a strength roll. Yeah. Let's see if you can pick him up. God. Uh, He's a big boy. Big boy. Got a lot of girth. So, would that be considered close combat or something? No, or it's just a strength. Just a full on, strength. just a strength. Gotcha. Damn, Isaac. Jeez, dude. You didn't need to, like, throw him uh, over your shoulder and smash him against the wall. Uh, make a panic roll. <laughs> okay, nervous twitch. Yeah, you're like, ah! You he throw him over the- nervous. He did roll nervous yeah, twitch that's last time. Twitch. That's true, so that would be an eight, then, because it goes up one, right? So what would an eight be on Tremble. panic? Tremble. Tremble. Let's, let's uh, see what Tremble does. Yeah, you start to tremble all skill rolls using agility, suffer from minus two. So you're panicking, you're screaming, you throw this guy over your shoulder, but... Uh, you didn't get a 10 or above, so you do, in fact, have him on your shoulder. His legs are probably trembling from the weight of the guy. For real. I love it. That's why <laughs> minus two. All right, so you got him. What's next? Anything else, Isaac? That's it. Secure. <laughs> We're going to move out of here. <laughs> of all the people to pick him up, <clears throat> it would be Isaac. All right, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Uh, all right, Isaac, you would, with this dude on your shoulder, I'm going to say that you're moving at, like, half speed, essentially, right? Just FYI. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Winter's your turn. What do you want to uh, do? <laughs> do I see any danger around me? <laughs> There's no danger that you can see at this point. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to, like, she's, like, Holding her arm and just like her shield is in her other arm, and she just like reaches out and takes out her fucking stun baton. Just like so fucking tired. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna step outside this room and just look outside because I don't know what happened to the engineer. Yeah, he's and gone. Come to kill me yet, so he's he is gone. There's like flaming footprints in the dirt leading to the waterfall. That's it. And it's there's gonna... this really bad like Summers is busted. And she's she's got her smart gun. She looks like she's about to reload it because she just dropped the whole canister out at something. And she's looking over at the altar. Uh, a little bit closer to, to Summers. Be like, where the hell did it go? Off the edge as well. Olympic as, diver. As well? Yeah, they both went off. The, Something's both up with what? the altar, though. What? What do you mean both? Well, big guy went off, and then... Blondie jumped off after him, after doing something to the altar. Blondie? Blondie, yeah. Miss, uh, Mishka or something. Alright, alright, uh, I'm just gonna hold my ground here. I, I like it here. Perfect. Colhavy, it's, it's your turn. Yeah, um... <clears throat> so we know she went out the other way now, um... How far up is however she managed to exit? Can I find that in this turn of movement? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a door there that that closed behind her. I open the door. Cool. All right. Let me open the door for you. You push the little bulb. Yeah. It opens the door into the very room that Masters and Summers did not want to enter. You see that there are uh, six statues on each side of this uh, sort of antechamber that have very similar shape and body type to the creature that just emerged from this coffin. Except instead of uh, a white hairless head, uh, each of these uh, statues um, has sort of a, an enormous, almost like elephantine trunk-like uh, uh, head atop it. I found your death hallway. I don't recommend going in there. Does it look like she stepped in a certain way? Can I can I make an observation, or is that not active during combat? Uh, no, you can make an observation. Absolutely, uh, observation is a <clears throat> is a fast action. So in this case, it'd be two fast actions: one to activate the door, and one to check her out. All right, uh, and I'm gonna make my panic. Cool. You keep Six. it together, but you do not see uh, any any sign of her. <clears throat> and I'm going to hold where I am and say, this area is clear then. Cool. Masters. 
Heading back out of the room. And I can get one more zone in this turn. So I'm gonna go here and kind of look out over the edge and try and see if I can figure out what anybody, what what's happening, what weird shit's going, oh yeah. I'm gonna get up here closer to the altar, but yeah, just looking down at the water to see if I see any sign of them. Make an observation roll. One success. Roll panic. And do, do, do. Keeping it together. Cool. Yeah, you look down over the edge. Uh, there's an enormous amount of s sort of steam and water vapor coming out. Uh, from your vantage point, you do not see either uh, either of them. All right. That's my turn. Summers, it is now your turn. What do you want to do? Uh, excuse I'm me. just going to be going on conflict. Yes. Right. Oh, a, 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 a random piece of gear has just been redeemed. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll get to that shortly. For okay, you, Isaac, so, too. <laughs> okay, so Masters is out there. You're looking over the waterfall. All right. Um, do Isaac, where did Isaac go? Is he... He's, he's, he's back in the guy. room. Giving the guy a heave-ho. Okay. All right, I'm going to go take a look at the altar. Um, can I conceivably get... There's like a little bit of lip right here. Is that like able to be crossed in one zone for a fast action? Sure, I'll say yes. Okay. Um, I I'm going to look from here. Can I see that there's anything different about the altar? Or from your vantage point, make an observation. Okay. One success. Rule panic. Okay. I drop an, I, no, it's a wait. That's built in. That's built in. So your stress yeah. goes up. I think this is the reason why, um, first of all, it, it's not above 10, so that's still a success. And the reason yeah. why you drop an item, and I'll tell you what item that you drop is, is because you see that there is a flashing group of lights behind the altar. Oh. <clears throat> and they seem to be increasing in pace. Oh, shit. Does it look like? We never found that second nuke. <laughs> mm. Oh no! Newt, drop the body and get in here. Newt, we need you right now. Alter. <laughs> <laughs> that you drop the body, uh, 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 Isaac. You drop the body and something clink, clink, clink falls out of uh, 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 of Grand Sir Ruetti's pocket. And roll a d10. <laughs> <laughs> a five. Uh, yeah, it's it. it <laughs> somehow or other, he happened to have fucking uh, binoculars in his pocket. Again, so, more. Yeah. Why am I gonna do with this shit? <laughs> I'm a bird watching on Ariarchus. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see things far away. I thought you were the smart one. Come on. Yeah, it's useless. These goggles uh, say do nothing. Okay. How far, how far can I go? Like, oh. wait, square. You are welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. What? Not see the afterlife with him. Yes. <laughs> Wait, it's not Isaac's turn. It's not Isaac's turn. That was Summers' turn. Are you done, never, Summers? Never fucking That mind. is it my turn. Okay, now it's Isaac's turn. God damn it. What do you want to do, Isaac? I'm just throwing him back and forth now. You dump the body. You run over. Uh, yeah, that's one, two zones. That's as far as you can get in this zone without any actions because you went zone, zone. Oh, fuck. I, not going to lie. I don't know if I can... Oh man, I don't know if I can do it like this, man. Your eyes are bleary. Your hands are sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Yeah, you do see those. The I mean, by indicated by Summers, there's some flashing behind that altar where you got popped in the face. Sure, that's a good idea for me to mess with again. You got your damn goggles on. We need you. Uh. Just gotta hold up my maintenance jack, as like my. Yeah. From where I am, I'm like, I don't think you want me disarming that thing. So Isaac, you did take two actions, a slow and a fast, to move to that position. Yeah. So you can't do anything else on your turn. Gotcha. Fair, but you yeah. can do something on the next turn. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Winters, shit's going down. What you doing? Uh, how's the guy in the room? By the way, he's knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Okay, so we can leave him there for right now. Sure, uh, why not? Tie him up. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go do that, because I cannot help the comp deck. Okay. <laughs> I'm no good at this, I'm good at tying people up. Okay, and yeah, you run into the room, and I'm gonna say slow action, you pull out 50 feet of rope from your backpack. <laughs> Where you got it, you have no idea. I, what I probably did is I probably went over to one of the dudes that got fucking killed and like pulled off his belt. Perfect. Absolutely. Like, tying him up with a belt. I love it. I love that. Super. Super. All right. Uh, let's just move along. Colhavy, you are at the foot okay. of this uh, chamber. What do you want to do? So, we're in the blast radius if it is the nuke. I can't disable the nuke. I can do nothing, and I'm trapped in a corner. I am going to throw up one of the puffs, and I'm going to scan what this fucking trap is, and I'm going to see if I can figure out what the trap is and or disable it so that we have a direct clear path with as much resistance between us and the nuke as possible until I'm told by my commanding alcoholic to run along the ridge. When you say trap, I want to be clear about what I'm hearing. When what trap? I assume it's a trap because she said death hallway. That's I fair. We don't know for sure, correct? Thing. You're talking about this room here. Right? Yes. All right. Throw the pup up. I believe she also made a reference to Night of the Living Dead, if that helps. Yeah. Since I don't entirely know what's going to set it off, I'm wondering if a proper pup scan for the turn will do anything. Totally. Observation plus two. Pups, pup scan for life forms and sort of topological, topographical changes, right? That's what they do. Well, that could tell me if there's something organic or biological Correct. in this. Absolutely. Potential. Organic. What yes. Patrick knows to be an engineer sort of psychopathy. Possibly. Organic, or yes. Engineer's pilot suit looking thing. But yeah. I will make my panic check first. Yes. Trey, all good. Yep. But I do have a success on the observation. Cool. Um, so you... A pup goes into the room and sort of like... It just sort of makes a quick U-turn when it hits the back wall where the door is and comes back to you. And you see in your PDAT that this hallway is... Uh, has uh, is exactly as described, exactly as you see it, and there are 12 organic forms in this room. It picks it up as organic material. Yep. So the question becomes, do we want to try and sidle along the edge of the ledge and be immediately in the blast range, or do we want to take a straight run, everybody use their fast it's action? It's a fucking nuke, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, the only thing I can think of away is from tell everybody run as fast as you can through the death tunnel, and then move towards as many walls between us as possible. I mean, honestly, from where the outside people are, running up the outside is going to be faster than running up that room and into the death tunnel. But the challenge is you're still going to have to go somewhat slow because Winters has Ruetti, unless we leave Ruetti. Because I, I can't run him through this. I could run through this myself in a turn. Fast action. Let's but just focus on gonna... getting Newt yep. to the nuke. Get Newt to stress. the nuke. <laughs> I have seven stress. Yes, you do. Yeah, well. Stress makes you do things better. To, uh, Pop a Necro. Um, I have to run to the restroom really quickly. Yeah. I'm going to, on my turn, I'm going to take Overwatch with Betsy if anything comes at us. Fantastic. All I right. love it. Kalevi, are you done with your turn? I think so, right? You know what? I'm not going to poke this bear. I'm going to spend my action, and I'm going to run all the way back out here for a full full dash out. Nice. Okay. Well, you used your observation. That's a, that's the fast oh. action. So you can't go that far. You can go here. Too fast? Okay. So I can go one one zone. Only. That's correct. That's fine. Yep. It's important. Yeah, all right. No, fair. Fair. I appreciate it. Masters, as she says, will take Overwatch. Summers, your turn. Ditto. Overwatch. Taking Overwatch. All right. Okay, Isaac, crack your knuckles. I, Clear your I, eyes. I don't have a. I don't have a. I don't have a. The, the, I don't have the drug. You're gonna have to try, man. I don't have the drug. I know, but I'm not there, and no one else has. Oh, actually, no. Summer's. Uh, Masters has them. Masters is in Overwatch. I know. I'm just saying, Masters does have them. So Isaac, since you are in this zone, first of all, let me stop this this music and give you some real fucking tense music. Oh, because God. that's important, God. right? It's all about the tension. Here we go. Oh, this is bad. It's all right. Oh. Just breathe. Okay, hold on. I'll give you some. Where is this music? 
here we go. So let me just oh, tail this I... off, and we're gonna bring in this. Okay. Hey, Marcus, apparently oh, you have fuck. an afro. I don't have one. No, masters. Oh yeah. Why don't you just uh, napro him up with your oh, turn? Oh, I can do that. You want to give him a napro? That that could have been your turn instead of taking Overwatch. Taking Overwatch, I'm fine with retconning my Overwatch. Beautiful. Okay, so you run over. What do you say to him? Newt, get your shit together right now, and go disarm that fucking nuke before we all die. And I just pop it in his mouth. <laughs> Isaac, you feel warmth spread through your whole body. The That's beads of sweat that were uh, on your brow are feel just like cool drops of refreshing water. And you feel calm. You feel purpose. You feel like you know what to do. It's now your turn. You have two actions. I'm going to allow you to make them both. One is a Comtech roll. And two is a heavy machinery roll. You need to succeed on both of them, and you cannot push them. So, Comtech? Comtech and heavy machinery. You look over, this device is the real deal. Your first Comtech roll, you're easily, you're able to like, do, 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 do. you know exactly where the core of this nuclear device's power is, and it opens up, as I bonk the microphone, and now you're able to see the core. Heavy machinery will allow you to remove it and the device will not explode. If you fail, it will set a timer. Oh, you you succeed. Oh, yes. And you are able to remove the core of this bomb and defuse it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good. Fucking day in the core. Holy shit. We're in the clear. We're in the fucking clear. I'm just gonna oh. like to sit down and just. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh, and you're out of combat. I don't know about you all, but my butt is sweating. <laughs> I had a chase lined up. I had everything ready to go. But you pulled it out. And JF Messen just gave Winters a random piece of gear because she hasn't found a present yet. Aww. So Winters, roll your D10. I can do that. Thank you. Watch it be another three. If it's a five, I'm... Okay. <laughs> It's fucking raining binoculars, everybody. <laughs> Actually, the Arcturians really like binoculars. Uh, you get cybernetic eyes. You get cybernetic eyes. You get cybernetic eyes. <laughs> you know what? Do you want to keep the binoculars? I'm going to allow you to roll again just because, like, what is this? The regulated binocular group? Thank you. Christ. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody clip that. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Six. Let me consult. Let me consult the tables. Oh, no. That was some funny shit. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Matt. I do I did, do want to ask just to remind me. Like, yeah, I sure. dropped an item. I don't remember if you mentioned which one. Oh. I did not because I had another chance to look, but I, uh, I think it's going to be an important one because that kind of freaked you out, and it went over the falls, too. So oh, you don't get yeah. that back. Um, winters on the ground... Uh, near to where Ruetti and his group were setting up shop inside this room, you see a variety of tools, most of which are on fire or destroyed. But one of the ones that you do see that's remaining um, is a, uh, a cutting torch, something that they probably used to open up this uh, sarcophagus. So that is yours. Right. Does it have a weight or anything? Uh, yes, cutting torches have a weight of... Hold on. A one. And they give you a heavy uh, machinery plus two. And they have a power supply of five. Except in this case, because it's been used, is a power supply of three. 
and they also make excellent weapons. And they do. Weapons. They will bust your ass up. Okay, let me go and see what it is that, went, that Summers dropped off the edge here. It's not your smart gun, so don't worry, <laughs> Summers. Uh, it is... It's your med kit. Okay. I will move that. I'm a... Sort of like... In a bit of a daze. Start walking back towards the room where, uh... Ruetti is. What? Die. What a fucking day. I kind of look Winters up and down. I go... I guess that's why you don't want to kill people. <laughs> and then I'm going to start rifling through the uh, heavily armed dead guards to see if they have anything fun. I mean, they both have bombs on them. Okay. Which they did not get to explode. More breaching charges. We have so many breaching charges. Lots point. of lots of breaching charges. Uh, okay. What else do Maybe they have? Let's see what else they have. Anything else? They have interesting stuff. They have uh, six doses of X stims a piece. Ooh, okay. Mm. Uh, they have rebreather masks. They have uh, assault rifles. Uh, nothing that you haven't seen already. All right. Um, and can we re can we air up? Like the I was actually going to grab those because we might need a, we might need a mask for Doc. Yeah. And we might need a mask for this guy. And, well, does already have his own rebreather? <laughs> uh, he does not have a rebreather on now. So, stick one, give one to, to the unconscious man, and save one for the dog. That's cool. My, was my plan with those. Right on. All right. Okay. And anybody wants my breaching charges? Got two. I am, I am two away from full limit on carrying stuff, but I can carry them. I mean, I'll take one. You Do can. You want to blow one. up the room full of things? <laughs> Ooh, actually, yeah, yeah, I kind of do. Are you sure that's a good idea? You and I sort of set about destroying as much of this alien shit as possible. Yeah, I'm just like, you know, I think that uh, if anybody asked, they were just a um, casualty of the firefight. Can we... Set proximity or time to charges on these. Yes, sure, you can set place time charges. Sure can, absolutely. Great. Like we can literally set them to blow up in two system. fucking hours if we want yeah. to. Mm -hmm. And we're swapping the stems and the charges and stuff. Oh right? yeah, I have. Yeah. We're gonna use we're gonna use the charges to blow up the hall of corpses. Yeah. Okay. So that nobody can get them. And I currently have yeah, the stems in my inventory. Extra but charges I'll, from upstairs. We could. We can do with this there. Didn't we get like five from upstairs before we came down? Yes, have so many freaking reaching charges. I only I I stopped carrying them because I was close to bad. Know, I everybody. Have one right now, but... <laughs> yeah. But we can so... definitely take these two and blow up that fucking hallway. Make it five because so... I've got at least three in my inventory right now. Well then, let's stick one on every intact EJ. sarcophagus in this room. Um, as you guys are sort of clearing up and clearing out, um. Isaac, as you sort of tail off and sit down, you go back to that helmet that you pulled off of Giannis Ruetti. First of all, it has marks on it that um, indicate that it's of UPP design. And it has yeah. two words on it. I think by now you guys probably understand Cyrillic. Um... Oh, I do remember. I spent five XP. To Absolutely. Learn to Absolutely. I don't know if you train anybody else, but I guess uh, masters. If that's the case, you see there are two words on it uh, in Cyrillic. It says Project Morana. M U R. M O R, A N A. So yeah. That's what you see. Oh, well, that might be worth taking with us. So, if there's nothing else that you guys want to do except blow up that little room, I will... Oh, I, yeah, I'm saying we put... Oh, yeah, Mac is marked and blow up every remaining engineer sarcophagus and the room of corpses. T totally fine. I will mm -hmm. go ahead and say that you guys fire in the hole, 
closing the door, and boom, and the charges do in fact destroy everything in that room. There is nothing left. Excellent. And as the smoke clears, you don't see any, you know, like, it's not like they were, like, twitching or moving or anything like that. They were actually, uh, it, it, they looked like they were, like, desiccated. Like, it looked like the, the, the parts of them were, like, just skin and bones. There was nothing left to these things, these almost, um, it looked like they almost like they were fossilized. Is there, like, a little bone shard that I can pick up? Sure, Absolutely. I'm going to pick up a little bone shard. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that after that is complete, you guys will probably backtrack to pick up Tehal Alawalia. Yes. All right, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Give her a rebreather. Yeah. Um, let me just bring off the, the sound effects here for this uh, ridiculous waterfall that you no longer are near. And... You're now essentially at the front of the... I'm not going to move you guys, but I'll say that you pick her up on the way. She sees that you've, that you've got a, another person with you now. You've got Grand Seer Rihanna Zerwetti, and she sort of inquires a little about it. She says, uh, You are all very hurt. Are you all right? What, what is going on? There was, um, shall we say, a bit of resistance. But uh, the threat has been neutralized along with the nuke. And uh, we have collected Dr. Ruetti as, or sorry, Grand Seer Ruetti as, uh, as ordered. I see. And uh, Deep Void, they will, they will be informed, yes? Absolutely. I assume they're always informed when we complete a mission. All right. Now, if you would, uh, I'll check. Care to join us? We have transport topside, and we can get you off of this rock. Yes, yes, of course. And she uh, takes her PDAT. Can I make an observation on her reaction? Uh, sure. That's two successes and a panic. Go ahead and roll your panic. It's an eight. So wow. you're sort of like noticing her, and like you're still you're still coming down off of that fight. Yep. And that high. <clears throat> and um Yeah. You're 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 getting some uh, some minus two mods on your agility. There or not. Matt, yep. is there time to for me to like use my uh signature item to reduce the stress? I think so, yes. I think that yeah. you will all be able to reduce stress. Because now okay. this is a safe area. So you can not only one reduce stress, but to increase your health, except for, of course, Winters, who cannot do that that way. She needs special attention. Okay, so... And I... With the Sorry. safe zone, I'll pull off additional one because of the... Uh, Works for me. With the signature item, yeah. Can I ask... Uh, can I also use an ability to lower someone's stress? Uh, of, of other people, sure. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't... Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. What is, your, you, what is your ability to lower stress? Uh, I can do either counselor common presence. Yeah, I mean, what do you say? Uh, oh, it just is kind of kind of fucked up. Uh, gonna sort of look at the others. Just, just thank them for making sure she didn't get crushed by that uh, creature. And she appreciates them. It's very rare that you hear gratitude of that kind, folks. So, in situations as, as tense as they've been, I think it uh, it comes to a head, and it does reduce the overall stress. It's crazy of a situation that you've all experienced. After you so, said that, I kind of look at her and I just say, "Hey, you may not be a marine, but uh, you're one of us." Thank you. That 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 means a lot to me, actually. About an hour or so later, you come out of the catacomb, seeing as that you've found a way back. You just trace, retrace your steps back up to, uh, back up to the Grand Kivas. Um, 
and you are able to, if need be, radio uh, to the Tambatam to come pick you up. And also to pick up a uh, ship pick full of civvies. The, that's correct, the survivors yep. that were in that bus. Mm-hmm. And we might have had some other survivors that we encountered on our way down, I believe. Oh, yeah, they yeah. oh those... Oh, yeah, those guys. Where yeah. did we send them? We sent them up here. Yeah. Okay, so we'll collect them on our way. Okay. To the outpost. We had them take the car from over here. No, not those no, no, guys. No. The ones that we found when we got in the catacombs. The ones we yeah. rescued in the catacombs. The, one right, the ones right before the big room of uh, oh, pets. Room of yeah, pets. They, they are... Um, based on based on how you've you've directed them, they were also um, at the bus, so they they moved to the same place, so they were they were able to take off with them. Oh, oh they yeah. made it to the bus. We will we watched the bus leave. Oh, I thought that you kept the bus there and you wanted you you wanted to wait. But hey, that's no, fine. No, we we yeah. had the bus leave and go to uh, that old trading outpost. Okay, let's yeah. let's, and let's we, we set up a bunch of charges to to kill a bunch of the guys guarding number four down here. And then yeah. they never went running, so right. those charges are all still there, and they can stay there. But we'll just totally find somebody before, I before mean, the Arcturans come yeah, retake possession else. of the Kavas. When you do uh, bring yourself out of the Kavas, the, the Arcturans are, in fact, uh, for the most part, all there. They are bringing all of their material possessions back into the Kavas. They're setting up um, uh, They're setting up uh, patrols. Uh, they've taken the weaponry from the remaining and or dead uh, uh, children of the two divines. Oh, and then we'll, uh, di- I'll, di- I'll tell them where the Arcturan survivors were yeah. sent so that they know where to go retrieve Perfect. them. Perfect. Perfect. I'll disarm the traps I set so they don't kill anybody else. That's important. <laughs> <laughs> and then in about an hour or so, after you've sort of settled down and I think probably take off maybe two or three points more stress if you have any left, Gaining a couple more hit points along the way, um, a Cheyenne gunship lands in the um, lands in the uh, docking bay, and uh, it's not a uh, it's not your ship. Your ship is still out in the dunes. Yeah. Uh, but here. it is it is uh, one of the of the same uh, ilk as uh, as yours. It's so, another dragonfly. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It's not a mantis. It is a. Uh, it is just a oh, Shion yeah. dropship. Yeah. And uh, out, you know, a squad of Marines drops out. These are ones you've never seen before, and they're not Blackguard. They're just straight Marines. Um, and they say, "You got to get back to the Tamatam." Colonel Myers wants to see it right away. He wants a debrief. He usually does. We can. Uh, all right. We we can bring the, the the your your ship that mantis ship. We can bring it up on remote if need be. That would be appreciated. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No worries. So hop in. We got a long ride back. Be glad to be off this damn rock. Do so. I'll take Ruetti from whoever's been carrying him because he's heavy and everyone looks tired. Okay. Uh, how's Isaac looking? How's Isaac looking? Yeah. How's Isaac looking? How am I looking, actually? I mean, you f- feel fine. I'm... I'm as good, healthy as looking ever, as ever, full health and everything. Sure. You're not... News, your, your eyes, uh, you know, as, as Holland Silla said, instead of a big dark blur, now it's a big light blur. But you're able to see well enough. I mean, you, have, oh, you diffused a nuclear bomb. Still gonna look at you funny anytime you cough for a little while. Just uh, heads up. Well, I'm not like spreading a fever. Let's fucking hope not. The Shion dropship lifts off from the planet and brings you back into space. And you arrive back at the Tampa Tam. Home sweet ship. While we were on our dragonfly, can we look over the marine cam units and make sure we erase anything that we don't want Black Void to see or hear in our logs? Can we do that? 
What do you not? Do you guys come together and determine what it is that you don't well, want? There's to... an amount to which we we don't want them to know that we're actively sabotaging from within because we don't want more of this stuff being experimented on, like it was in operations one and three. Mm -hmm. one and yeah. Four. So like the part <clears throat> the part where we uh, blew the death hallway, for example. Let's scrub that. Yeah, sure. I'll love that. No problem. Would you? Do you need a, like a check on that or just yeah, time? Guys can just just okay. a matter of time. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's like as we finish doing that, I'll kind of remount and be like, "Ah, damn things are so buggy, you know." Really should give us better tech. Tehal Alawalia sort of looks yeah. at you and says, "That's on them for not upgrading the Marines." Absolutely, they should definitely give you better tech. She just stares. Um, Grand Seer Giannis Orwetti has been uh, completely and totally uh, <laughs> restrained. Uh, he's in sort of the back of the ship. Um, I assume we put like actual manacles. Yeah, yeah. no, the, the Marines come down with manacles. Well, we they, rescued, they take we rescued, we rescued the hostages, we defused the nuke, and we captured the dude alive. Indeed. Yeah. Mission and successful. Mm hmm. And we saved a reasonable amount of relics, I think. Yeah, you gave them back to the people who own them. Mm -hmm. okay. We were told to secure them. They are secure. Indeed you are. And people. Uh, did you did. And everyone on this ship always doubts us. <laughs> uh, well, okay, not, okay, not everyone. Not guy, everyone, yeah. Just that one guy that always sends us down these jobs. Speaking of which, uh, your Cheyenne dropship comes back into the uh, the Tambatam hold, um, the, um, the the doors to the to the Tam Tam open up, and uh, the ship floats up inside. Um, you disembark, and um, there is uh, is Colonel Myers. He is uh, standing uh, at attention, waiting for you guys to disembark. He says, "So it looks like you got him. Awesome, fantastic." He smiles. Oh, and uh, Dr. Alawalia, pleasure to see you again. She nods at him and she says, Colonel Myers? She says, I assume my shuttle will be here soon? After all, and she gestures to the five of you and he go. He, he doesn't even say anything, he just sort of does this. He goes, And then she just sort of stares at the five of you. Now what? And then she says, this is for uh, your eyes only. And she hands off the PDAT to him. You'll find interesting We're material on there. And uh, he says, yes, yes, uh, we'll... Uh, what I understand, uh, we'll be entering UA space within the hour. Your shuttle should pick us, uh, should pick you up in, uh, directly after that. We'll remand, uh, Grand Seer Giannis Rowetti into custody. And then she doesn't say anything else to the five of you. She just sort of nods and walks off the deck. He says... Well, Regulators, congratulations on a successful mission. But we've, unfortunately, well, we've got a big one. It's got your names written all over it. Give yourself a day of relaxation, and you're heading back into cryo. Because we're heading to the other side of this godforsaken sector. Big problem. Okay. Hopefully you're up for it. We always, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Well, tomorrow I'll, uh, clue you in. But, uh, give yourself time to relax, because you're going to need it. And then he just nonchalantly, doesn't even salute you, just walks off the deck. want to wander in whatever direction uh, 
Dr. Alwalia went. Okay. Uh, she heads to the, uh, she heads to the bridge, actually. I want to just sort of casually bump into her in the hallway before she gets there. Okay. That's possible. Sure. I just kind of want, I want to sort of just bump into her almost as though I didn't see her there. Apologize. And then just kind of look at her and be like, Colonel doesn't know as much as he thinks he does. Have a pleasant journey home, Doc. I'll give her a wink and wander away. She sort of scowls at you. <clears throat> All right, so you guys can reduce your stress to zero, bring your health back up to max, um, except for Winters, of course, unfortunately. Winters, you're a, you're busted up. Um, I've seen better days. Yeah, when you come off the, uh, when you come off off, off the uh, the Cheyenne onto the uh, the deck of the bridge, sorry, on the onto the deck of the Tam Tam. Um, you're, you're just coated with white fluid. I mean, you are a synthetic, so it's not like a humongous surprise. Um, but now the jig is up, so to speak, right? Everybody knows. Uh, well, um, I'm just going to find a nice, quiet place to uh, go help myself. Kind of, more or less. Yeah, I mean, the only place that you could potentially sort of fix yourself would be in the med bay you'd have to be using specialized tools that would take a shift to do it uh, can I drag Isaac along? I was gonna say it's a contact yeah. role you should probably take Radio Shack <laughs> yeah absolutely I do also go towards the med bay because um, I'm, I'm looking for a lot of aloe vera gel <laughs> <laughs> gonna need it ouch burns yeah. they're bad Masters uh, stashes the x stims that she found in, like, the hidden compartment in the bottom of Max's old locker. And then uh, hits the showers. Right on. All right. So you guys have a day to do whatever you'd like, downtime activities, if you guys want to choose your own or roll for it, it's up to you. Uh, but you do have a briefing in the morning. Not a whole lot of downtime. I mean, are we talking like leveling up downtime abilities, or are we not going to do that till next session? We'll do that till next session. Oh. Cool. Um. You can roll for downtime. Oh okay. yeah, there's a squad downtime events do if you want detoxing. to talk. That's very cool. Kill Hades. Detoxing. Yeah. Kill Hades is going to try and start detoxing. Detoxing yeah. will take some to time. Shake off the napro. Yeah, detoxing is going to take some time. It's not going to take a yeah. less than a day. A couple shows at least. Yeah. Wait, that's a roll for activities? Oh, yeah. You guys want to do that? The penalties now. Yeah. We have, we've never done yeah. that. Yeah. But if we could, yeah. Do, yeah. we could do a squad downtime event. <laughs> Who wants to do <laughs> it? Who wants yeah, to do, do it? I mean, I'm, sure. I'm a little preoccupied. I yeah, that's, I'm, I'm with you, Winters, 100%. So I mean, whoever I wants to roll, <laughs> roll, two, <laughs> roll 2d6, and let's see what, what comes of it. Or just one person? Just one person. I'll do it. This is a table of downtime events. A one and a two. two. So a three. <laughs> okay. This is what it says from the book. Life on base is mind-numbingly boring. The squad must make its own entertainment without breaking military regulations or getting caught. <laughs> Take it away, regulators. <laughs> God. Oh, well, I've already drawn a dick on Myers. What about you? Oh, man, I wonder if there's a possibility for me to fuck with the lighting inside his cryopod as well. Turn it into a, like an RGB rave. <sighs> oh, my God. I, w so I, will gonna... I will accept that. I will accept you doing that. Okay, I am going to... <laughs> Break into his locker and swap out all of his underwear for one size too small. So breaking into his locker, I'm not going to allow, unless you okay, make a roll fine. for it. Oh, I mean, I'll roll for it. What should I do? Uh, let's see. Breaking into, well, how are you breaking into it? You can try to pick Am the I lock. Am I doing or... it while he's asleep? Because then I get a plus one. 
Well, <laughs> if you want to not like. Joking. <laughs> no. Um, I if you want to like smash that. through it or pick the lock or whatever. No, I want I want to <clears throat> break into it without getting caught. Obviously, I don't want okay. it to be obvious because that kills the fun of it. Cool. So I'll allow you to do a. I'm just gonna say. Well. Oh yes. These are these are these are mechanized lockers. So Comtech. Comtech. Yeah. Comtech is not great. Do I have a stunt on this? Because I will totally waste. No, I don't. Damn. Right. Two Boom. successes. Okay. Nice. Cool. So yeah, I mean, you're able and to I'm sort gonna of bank that as a plus one. Actually, no. Don't need to overcome again. I can always break into Myers. You know what? He has. You know what his password is? One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Of course it is. What a fucking <laughs> asshole has the same password. One, one, so, two, yeah, three, I'm four, gonna... five. I'm gonna get down to the laundry. I'm gonna requisition a bunch of uh, uh, regulation undies that are one size smaller than what he wears. I'm gonna swap out all of his underwear. <laughs> you notice that his underwear are stacked, like, you know. Oh, I mean, I like I fold. Like them sleeping all with the me. enemy style. Yeah. I mean, just because Masters is a slacker doesn't mean she doesn't actually know I and love able to follow a military protocol. So she folds them fucking perfectly and. Of course. Them out. I love how we're just spending the day just fuck fucking with this guy. Fucking with Myers because we hate him, yes. Yeah. He's a dick. Operation totally fuck with fine. Myers. <laughs> totally fine. Yeah, totally acceptable. <clears throat> Winter is just in the med bay by herself, just... I like to think I'm... Just sad, sad winters like music. Think... It's like with a screwdriver, like... I would think after I mess around with the, the, the lighting effects, I would go over to Winter's like, help her out with, like, the comp... Like, with the repairs. Yeah, because that least. does need a com tech role, a successful com tech no, role. Oh, yeah. So I am work? not good at. Yeah, that's why she's like she's still working on her arm. She's like the screws don't go in the hole. All the way. I'm gonna give Winters <laughs> yeah. plus one contact. I'm about to say, I, uh, should I should I also be making a contact for her as well, or? Yeah, you, you, I would say that there's one person who does contact per shift to see if she gets health back. So she hasn't rolled it yet because she's still working on it. So you can do it for her if you'd like. Sure, I'll do it. I mean, uh, I definitely appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I do. Okay. Cool. So that's a success. So that shift, you gain back, I believe it's one health point with a success in Comtech. What? That's I'm correct. So oh, actually, no, wait. I think it might be, I think with a successful Comtech, I'm going to look up the rules, but I think with a successful Comtech, that might bring you to full. Let me I, check the rules. I hope so. I hope so too. <clears throat> this is gonna be a short game for which. Yeah, I know, like one <laughs> health point. I'm pretty sure that's it. And you know what? If it's not, it should be. Because I think a successful com tech once per shift, it'll take a shift, but I think it brings you up to full health. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it as I see it, brings you back to full health. Alright. And there you go. That's what we're There we go. Stage. A shift of work and a com tech role is required to repair all lost health points and all critical yeah. injuries. <laughs> As long as the android hasn't covered <laughs> system shutdown. So, yeah, one roll. Fan fucking right. fantastic. Can there I you have... it. Well, there you go, Winters. All, all we need was some flex tape and. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> duct tape. I think I was a little more confident. Are you sure you know how to do contact? Don't worry, I took my. I took. I took education over at Colic. Where, where'd you get your certificate at Mappy? Oh boy. Uh, Fast forwarding! So Fast forwarding! Oh, wait, wait. I actually, um, I actually do want to. Um, I do want to look him over more properly now that we're on the ship and have the fucking med bay. Mm -hmm. Oh, like a medical exam? Oh, oh, absolutely. Like, I mean, okay. They said that gray black goopy shit. Was, cool. Uh, Make a medical aid you. roll. Winters, while you do that, it looked like Colhavy was raising his hand. Yes. I know what I'm doing to contribute to Operation Fuck with Myers. Go ahead. Yes. I am, I am going to use the data from my pups analyzing the death hallway, mm -hmm. and I am going to comtech into the computer files so that his cryo chamber reads as organic life static and trick the computers and his medical files into reading as dead every time his base vitals are active. Oh, man. So that he legally looks like he's dead and they can't figure out why whenever the machines read him. <laughs> and I'm going to burn three ComTech to make sure that I can land this. Oh my god. 
Wow. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't need the contact you gave me, so... Okay. That's why I'm doing it. Right. Yeah. Uh... I, and the RGB lights are like contributing to the whole like. This is a weird effect. fucking hazing shit. I'm just gonna say. Dead man's like disco. <laughs> <laughs> Dead man's disco. All right. Boom. One success. Right? One success. Yeah. I'm gonna say you that can choose. Enough. You can choose one of those effects. Uh. Which one of those effects, Kalhavi? Oh, uh, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it on the cryo tube so that it re since it reads that he's dead, it'll open itself back up and he won't sleep during cryo like the rest. Well, of the then he'll he'll, he'll go insane. And he'll go insane. Yeah. Okay. So and then he's <laughs> then he's thrown in the brig and he's not our problem. Okay. Well, there's ways around that. It's pretty simple. Um, okay. So yeah, like th that That's may happen during cry during cryo, but we're not at that point okay. yet. <clears throat> One other little thing that uh, one more thing. I got a fucking I got a team full of Columbos here. That's fine. No, this isn't. Duck. It's tiny. One she's going to, uh, one more thing, into, sir. She's going to go into the machine shop and find uh, a very like uh, fine gauge drill bit. Yeah. And drill a hole through that piece of fossilized bone that she picked up. Nice. And then she's going to uh, take off her doll head necklace that she always wears. And thread the bone That's onto hot. the leather thong. I like that. Back on. I like that a lot. That's cool. Um, I did get two successes, so I'm going to wait for cool. Isaac. Yep, so uh, that gives back two hit points to Isaac, but. Oh, no, though, no, that was you checking to see if he was okay. Yeah. Yeah, so one success, totally fine. You can bank the medical. Uh, no, I don't think you can bank the medical aid, right? Two success. I have two successes. No, but you can't bank. A, yes, you can't yes, stunt so medical give, aid, is what I'm so saying. So does it give her, be, is it a better success? Yeah, I'm just going to say it gives you a, a pretty damn good idea of what's going on, Winters. So you check out Isaac. He's helped you out. During that same time frame where he's working on you, you're checking his vitals, checking to make sure you're using some pretty sophisticated tools on him. Um, that, that thing that's exploded and sprayed its spores into his eyes with some kind of a plant I'm not quite sure what you see plant fibers and plant material that's still sort of floating around in the back of his eyes um, a lot less than probably was before um, you do a quick scan you ask him to sort of like pull, pull some uh, fluid from his tear ducts do a quick scan of any hazardous material inside of his tear ducts and you don't see any. But there's stuff still in his eyes. There was. Small fibers. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, I think, I think no. it's good if you, uh, Hang out in here for a bit. All right, sure. Is it their their problem or? Uh, do you want my honest opinion? I mean, I really make sure I'm not dying. I mean, I've really never seen anything like it, so I don't know. But uh, if you're dying, medical base, I just basically need to stay. Comforting. I asked if you want the truth. No, that's no. Yeah. Just kind of like reach out a, a hand, just pat him on the shoulder. You're gonna be okay, buddy. Don't worry. Is that better? <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> Calming presence, folks. There you go. Um. <laughs> I think. Unless anyone else has any last Summer. things. I mean, in terms of entertainment, I do want to add in a little thing. Yeah. Via um, Summer's idea of entertainment is uh, stealing a copy of Night of the Living Dead <laughs> and screening it, screening it to the, the squad and everyone who's, who, who wants to see. But the problem is that the audio cut out, so we have to provide the voices. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are they like. 
caption. Except the Masters has seen that movie like half a dozen times, so she just gets she just keeps getting annoyed. Yeah. Everybody like that. No, that's not what. God damn yeah. it! That's not what's happening. Stop it! And like she's some, trying to do it for real, and everyone else is talking. Me harder. It's so much fun. And Summers is <laughs> delighted by uh, Masters being pissed off at this. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's 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 the first time that you've come sort of together, the, the five of you, finally as a as a real team, uh, with Winters and as well in tow. And I think that it sort of makes the difference. All of these oppressive environments, over and over again, they can take its toll on people. But you guys seem very resilient overall. Um, stress can really buckle someone down. It can give you very bad psychological after effects. Culhavy, as you sit there trying to figure out how to rewire the interior of the uh, of the cryo tube, your hands both suddenly start to jitter. Not shake, jitter. Like full on like like you have to like grab it to stop them. Something's wrong. You're not sure what. Summers as you uh, one sec. Summers as you're playing this Night of the Living Dead for your folks, you close your eyes and the zombies are not zombies anymore. They're your team. Lurching through the black and white celluloid at you. You blink your eyes, they're back to standard George Romero zombies again. Isaac, as you are being tended to by Winters, you know she's a synthetic and that doesn't seem to affect you very much, obviously. Uh, Winters looks down um, through the microscope at this sort of sample and she freezes and doesn't move at all for a good 20 to 30 seconds and you're like Winters are you okay doesn't respond whole body shut down and then Winters comes back continues on as if nothing happened Winters there's nothing that you experienced that would have accounted for this nor do you even know Isaac, as you're blinking your eyes and Winters looks sort of with a little bit of concern at this stuff in this Petri dish that came from your eyes, you're not quite sure what she's seeing or what her concern is, but the team seems to have a very bad feeling about this stuff. We don't know what it means, but you don't feel anything in your eyes anymore. I mean, that's a good thing, right? And Masters, you put this little piece of bone onto your necklace and you sort of sew the line through and you look down at the doll head. And you think about all of those Arcturians. Piles and piles of them. That died. And you have a little bit of a, a reminiscence But then you continue on watching that movie because it's it's funny. You know every line to it. And eventually the laughs tail off and you all get some sleep. Wake up in the morning. Ready for your briefing. And as you step into the briefing room, you see two words on the screen. And it says, Operation Dreamcatcher. And that's where we're going to stop for tonight. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Good stuff, Man. folks. Nobody lost a limb. I mean, 
Got my eyes fucked with, well, I'm okay. I made it through yes. my last fight without taking damage. I have to remember about the... the of all the pranky shit. <laughs> but yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, you got Disco Inferno, you got, uh... He's dead, you got... Extra tidy whities Extra tidy whities yeah. You got some fun stuff. Oh, Coda! Sorry, apologies. I want to make sure I get this in. Um... One second, let me just make sure I've got... You guys keep going, I'm just gonna make sure that I get this coda in. <clears throat> keep going. You need to make a Don't list mind. of how many, like... How many things Summers has survived? <laughs> a lot. Like... I mean, oh yeah, has, lots. Hasn't Mastered survived a bunch Summers of Summers and Master, well, we're the two, we're the tanks. They're yeah. Right. We take a lot of damage. Cool. You're also the only two from the original squad, aren't you? Yeah, yeah and I and I intentionally have... Like, I use Bodyguard to get straight in there. You do. Crazy person. Real quick, Coda. This is the this is sort of like you know the the uh, uh, Marvel Studios after after scene after post credit scene, scene post credit scene. Um, same day, you guys wake up, you go into the thing. Um, the shuttle arrives for Tehal Alawalia, and she files into the ship. And there's someone in there with her. Camera doesn't show who it is. Tehal sits down. And she says, I figured it out. The engineers, these beings that we found, they were the ones. They were the ones that you told me. And the figure in shadow speaks, and it's a female voice, and she says, are you sure? Tael says, yes, of course. They were the ones, the border bombers, the ones that caused the the mess in Ariarcus and all the other places that, that we have seen throughout the frontier. And all of these 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 artifacts that they have, these uh, these uh, what do you call them? The 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 ampules. Yes, the ampules. The uh, they were the 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 bioweapons that were released. I see. And she, this female, puts out her hand into the light. You see she has dark skin. And Tehal Alawalia takes from her coat a small container which has three ampules suspended in fluid and places it into her hand. And as this figure sort of leans forward into the light it is none other than Delilah Vaughn. God damn it, Thanos! <laughs> 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 Thank you, Miss Dead for that. Absolutely magic. I had to say it. It's fucking brilliant. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're done. That was it. Coda over. Hope that you guys enjoyed tonight's session 17 of the Frontier War. Uh, and yeah, next session, uh, Operation Dreamcatcher. We're going to start that. So thank you guys for watching. Let's just go around the horn and let's start over here with Maeve, who played Winters. Maeve, where can people find you on the internet? Hey, I'm Maeve. Uh, you can find me tomorrow in our Ravenloft game with Sarah. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, Maeve Climber. Uh, on our Discord, on Mates of Fates Discord, uh, in their Endeavor game. Uh, I'm in a lot of stuff, so, you know. And you're great in all of them. Thank you. No problem, Maeve. Moving on down clockwise to Jonathan. Jonathan, where can people find you on the internet? You find me on Twitter at freshly underscore zested and on Instagram at blue before orange and, you know, around here doing the stuff. Aliens and uh, spooky things. And, and and magic nights. and magi nights, super fun. Lots shit. of lots of fire going on for some reason. Yeah, there's like a theme going on. Uh, glad you didn't get burned to death. Super duper. <laughs> uh, Sarah, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on the internet on Twitter and Instagram at lovely llama. Uh, also on Reddit, I hang out there a lot. There's an extra L in lovely because someone stole my name. That jerk. 
How dare they? Uh, and here, I'll be here tomorrow night for Ravenloft. And also, on October 7th, I will be here on Slices and Dices, uh, DMing a game of Merc Bori. That, the, that's uh, how you pronounce it. That's, that's, that is how you pronounce it, Merc good. Bori. Uh, which Matt will be playing in, along with Asher Mates of Fate, uh, Red Platinum, who you've met, uh, Jesper Nilsson Siren, the amazing map maker, and, and my husband, as long as he doesn't have a conflict with school. So <laughs> that's going to be a fun night of endless murder. Uh, I hope they die a lot. I'm coming up with a reward system based on how many times people die. It's going to be really fun. It's hot. Thanks, Sarah. Maybe they'll die of fun. Die of they fun? Will not, they yes. will die of fun. I already have like five backup characters ready to go. Oh, I have. You're playing from a pool of pregens. I've got like. Oh shit! 30. Never mind. I'm just gonna throw those yeah. characters out the window. Never mind. I mean, Fuck. keep them, or if you want to. But yeah, I've got I've got a pool of pregens. When you die, you roll some dice. I give you a new character sheet, and we bring you back in. I just have the names, honestly. That's all I really oh, like. The names and the backstories. So hopefully they're you can mutable. Totally you can totally change the names of the characters that are pre-created. It was all pregen. I'm not precious about it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. All right, moving on over to Scepter. Scepter, where can people find you on the internet? You can definitely find me on, tw on Twitter uh, at KRano, where I'm usually posting art, uh, dumb uh, shenanigans, no, do... nerdy D&D related content, animations, you name it, because again, nerd. And uh, can I say being an engineer is hard work? Heck yes, it is. <sighs> but you're the best. No you just, you've yeah. defused a nuclear bomb, sir. Mm -hmm. Very, very say. impressive. Well said. All right. And then finally, uh, the man up at the top left-hand corner, Patrick, where can people find you on the internet? As always, people can find me at uh, patrickmarion.com for any of my cast party and slices and dices related things. Uh, you can find my band, The Rogue Diplomats, at the uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania Celtic Classic Festival the last weekend of September. Uh, you will find me doing Magi Nights on this channel with some of my fellow regulators here. And at some point, I will be running a cast party one-shot later on in the fall. And a couple of things I can't talk about yet. Oh, and, mystery. and the rest of my world, which is the other link, which is the Bar Rover uh, on Instagram or barrover.com if you want to hire me out for whiskey tastings. Nice. Fantastic. All right. Well, that is it. Oh, oh, sorry, me. Uh, hi, I'm Matt. Yeah, who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you. How'd you get here? You? I don't know. I, I, I do nothing. Uh, my name is Matt. I help to run things here at Slices and Dices. This is this is the group channel. I don't think this is mine. This is this is everybody's channel, and everybody makes it the better place that I uh, always ho hoped that it would be. And so, the more the merrier. Uh, I want more and more people to join uh, the insanity and the fun and the good times. So, hey, come on and and take a take a take a walk on the slices and dices i don't even know what the fuck i'm saying anymore i'm tired um come and check us out <laughs> i'm gonna pop the discord into our into our uh thingy dingy here there we go come hang on us on our discord and if you're watching this on youtube uh you should be able to see the discord link in the doobly doo below um we have ravenloft tomorrow night we have a very packed september maybe it's because the kids are going back to school i don't know uh but a lot of stuff's happening in september like a lot. We have Burn Bright Finale. We have uh, Star Wars. We have Savage Rifts. We have maybe another group check. We'll see. Uh, we have. What am I fucking. What am I missing here? I, I have to go on to. Oh, you know what it is? If you go onto our Twitch channel, you'll see the schedule of crazy events that we've got stuff going There you go. So check us out. Uh, obviously, Aliens, uh, probably at the end of, of September uh, or early October. Uh, we'll see how things work out. Magi Knights, of course. Staple coming back. And until then, folks, you know what I always say. Remember, take care of each other. But don't forget to take care of yourselves. Thank you for showing a, a blurred white card. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that? Is that a, is that a picture of a dick? On the note card, but it doesn't show up with the blurred So just do it with your hands like Jonathan and Sarah are doing. Do this shit. That works. Look I'm at that. Trying. There you go. There you go. It's like I'm gonna lift up a piece of blurred white paper. It looks like I've drawn a dick. <laughs> we don't know. I love, look at Scepter. He's like, he's trying. I'm, I'm, 
I never do triangles that. have three sides. I'm, I'm really glad that I have made this catch on. I think I did this like the very first time Matt ever said that, and now it's just, now it's become a thing. I love it. It's amazing. Always the heart. You guys are the best. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow for Ravenloft. Bye, everybody. Bye.